Are we live? It's not showing me being Dunk, live. This Am is I the live? police. We have you surrounded. Come out of the house with your hands up. You are guilty of theft, trespassing, balding, and being bad at 2D platformers. I'm not bad at 2D platformers. Where the hell is the screen names? Hello? Am I live? Why does it not show me being live on Twitch anymore? Okay, yeah, I'm live. Sup! Okay. I need to do something very important. Which is laundry. So I'm gonna start the laundry. Remember, while I'm go putting my I'm putting my laundry in the washer. While I'm doing that, please remember to tell me to do two things. One, tell you my story about Gemini, and two, uh All turn on the, the meme template. Thank you, a Tara. man of few and very repetitive words. Well, I <laughs> no. It's, it's, Often the words are very good. Um, uh, and then three, there was some third thing. It's probably not important. Anyway, be right back. Che. You can't spell chair without air. Breathe in its oxygen chat. Remember to join us slash Dug. We need to surpass us slash Dug and become the true Dug subreddit. Hey, I have a good idea, um, or a good thought. How many people do you think showed up to the stream just now while I was doing my laundry, and then left for the day? Hey, They're like, oh, Doug, I guess today's stream is boring. And they're just gonna miss out on the stream. Germany, and also turn on the meme template. That's so funny. Instead of me just like taking two minutes to put my laundry in the washer. Okay, I I don't really want to turn hey, on the laundry Chip, alarm because I think so it gave me tinnitus. Platformers. I love you, say it back. Thank you. Uh, it turns out one of the things I can do to make more money than ever, apparently, is to go do my laundry and let you guys talk to chair. I'm pretty close to have given you 25k bits. <laughs> that is a which lot. Which I think means I have a problem. But here, have some more. Thank you, Titlove. Uh, look, I'm not gonna pretend like I use your money for good things, okay? I- <laughs> here, this is laundry. gonna- this is gonna make laundry, you feel laundry, bad, okay? Laundry, the other night- laundry. I smoked marijuana, and that's legal here, even though- and don't worry, I'm a Christian virgin, um, and this is a family-friendly channel, but I did smoke marijuana. And so I or- I ordered Billy food- Billy said her chat are all virgins, and are actually extra virgin olive oil. Oh yeah, that's just and true. And that you drink them. 
Are you liquefying and drinking Billy's viewers? Um, is that why your channel is bigger? The well, mods tortured me endlessly. It's, it's they a showed small me footage of Doug feed. playing Mario Maker and told me to the Doug is good at 2D platformers. But I could see I, with I, my I own eyes that was a lie. And then I, ordered I refused. DoorDash I shouted Doug this, is bad at 2D platformers. From this deli. They beat me. And it turns they out it was going to take... Okay, this is too much. I'm going to turn... Anvils to zucchinis. They threw me down the Rosa birthday stairs. I broke my legs. But the prison wasn't ADA compliant. Finally, I was freed by the other members of the Twitch chat TTS consortium. Um, okay, I'm pausing alerts. Whenever I pause alerts, they break now. I haven't made the new text-to-speech system. Um, I, I, I smoked, and then um, I ordered food, and it was a lot of food. It was like two and a half meals. I was like, man, this is gonna be a lot of food. I'm gonna eat way too much. And then I got bored after 10 minutes waiting for the food, so I ordered <laughs> another entire meal of fried chicken. Hey, che. And then I ate both good of to them. See you streaming All right, that's what you're supporting if you give me money. Don't give me money. Don't do it. It's good to it. see there's a good stream coming up. I had like four meals just sitting there. Um, it was, it's dumb. I'm dumb. Okay, I'm a dumb I idiot. I see what you mean. You definitely need Sounds to like slow a good us day. down. I should give or you at money. least have more control over the pause button. <laughs> Holy shit, yeah, uh, the truth is, um, Yasmin just gifted 100 subs, hey, thank you very much, can I get a pog story in the chat? playing on stream and on your videos, you I enjoy it so much. Smitty, thank you for the three years! I never years. stop listening to this song. Yasmin, Any other suggestion of songs I should listen to? I have a playlist if you type exclamation hey, mark Doug, music. I turned 18 yesterday WSG and I'm Jeff, absolutely terrified. Love your content. Thank you. Heat, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Yasmin, that's 150 subs today, right? Commissar TDC, that's five gifted subs. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I will happily contribute to the Doug Doug Weed Stash. I, I don't smoke very much, so this isn't like a common thing. Uh, but thank you. I will put that towards marijuana, I guess. Um, Yasmin, that's obscenely generous. Thank you very, Doug, very, very can much. can I have this money back, please? <laughs> that's not how it works. I wish I had a refund. But again, guys, I do have a great idea. I'm going to pause the alerts at the risk of them getting uh, broken. Commissars gifted 10 subs. Thank you very 300 much. 300 virtues dollars I to feel support like my really... special little Christian's marijuana addiction. Okay. <laughs> I've smoked three times in the past year. I don't know if it's an addiction particularly. Um, Commissar, thank you. Uh, thank you again. You can't it. stop me, Doug. I will give you money as long as you continue to eat. Thank you. I will use it for great things. You're an addict. <laughs> if you don't smoke Jesus, much, take the wheel. it's much easier to build up the stash. Uh, that's true. That's true. Um, Jesus, take the wheel. I have. I found a. Po Actually, this is related to the Gemini story. Okay, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about stories. Thank I'm gonna pause God, Texas Beach. Um, I haven't been able to go to Uncle Point Crows since one of his mods divorced me and took full custody of him. I mean that happens. All right, I'm gonna turn text. I'm gonna mute text to speech for a little while. Uh, fair warning right now. I think there there's only a couple behind. Wheel. I'm going to mute text to speech. You need to portion wee out woo, your wee munchies woo. beforehand. BTW. 300 bits cost $4.20. Really? I didn't know it was jacked up that much. Huh. Then it's really not worth sending me <laughs> that much money. Um. Hey, Doug, use this money to fuel your weed dependency. I Dependency feels like a strong word. I really do not smoke much marijuana at all. Uh, text abuse donations are currently muted. <laughs> Copium. I just really... I really don't feel like that's problematic. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. There are a lot of people now that it's legal who smoke all oh, the is time. is this why you sent over that agent guy to come and break into my house at 2am the other day? Well, so that was research. So you could research. take scans of my home to use here and dox me live on stream? It's all good, I didn't call the cops, but can you return my PS5 at least? Mm, that's part of the research, I need it. It's a two year Okay, I'm gonna mute text that's to speech. cash in the trash. So that I can, uh, communicate. Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Commissar, thank you so much again. Yasmin, thank you again. It's ridiculous. It's just straight up ridiculous. Uh, include message template in text to speech. I don't know what that means. All right, all right. Uh, TTS donations are muted while I tell some, uh, while I talk about things. I'll probably turn this back on once we get going. I, I do still intend on making the um, a custom TTS solution. I just have not had time for that. Can we take a break at 420 if you know what I mean? We're not going to take a smoke break at 420. 
All right. Um, uh, two quick two quick things before we get set up. Today we're doing novel or we're doing AI invasion. It's going to be great. We have a whole house. Let me make sure. Um, okay. Let me just a teaser. A teaser. Okay. For what we're going to be doing. We are going to be robbing this house. Um, but first... Uh, quick, quick story time. Plus, I need to turn on the meme template generator because I think that'd be fun for uh, for for AI invasion. So let's do that. House MD. That's incorrect. All right. So the other day, I was I, I've been like just learning about coding stuff, and I've been like, oh, it'd be fun to just learn more random, interesting coding things. So I wrote, what are some of the most interesting tools that have come out for program? Okay, this is Gemini. Okay, this is Google's version of chat GPT, okay? So they have come out with this and they're trying to show why they, Google, are gonna be the dominating, dominating force in AI and they're gonna totally whoop OpenAI's ass. So I was like, all right, let me talk to it. Let me see if it has suggestions for some interesting coding things I could learn. What are some most interesting tools that have come out for prefer, prefer programmers in the past year? I'm not looking for tools that improve a person's programming project or organization, but instead software tools that offer interesting interfaces with human interactions or human conversation. For example, tools that track a person's hand or face or eyesight, or tools that offer sentiment analysis of text or tools that can listen to a person's voice, or AI tools that can generate images, or large language models like yourself. I'm looking to experiment with highly interesting and unique tools or applications that allow me to interact with other people in interesting ways that reflect interesting use cases of modern software developments, could you list out many of these potentially interesting tools for me? If they require certain programming languages or technical knowledge, sorry Moose, you got scammed. Um, could, could you list out many of these potentially interesting tools for me? If they require certain programming languages or technical knowledge, please identify that as well. Perfect. All right. So then here we said, absolutely. Here's some interesting tools and applications that explore cutting edge human computer interaction. Captain Raynor, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. I appreciate it. Um... AI tools that generate text. Okay, this is just LLMs, which I already mentioned. Art generation tools. Okay, that was one of my examples. Uh, that wasn't really what I wanted. AI-powered sentiment analysis tools. That's fine. Again, that's an example that I gave. Uh, I was saying things like this. Um, AI-powered speech recognition voice assistance. This is actually... Yes, I've, I've already used these, but that's that's fine. It's like something. Um, AR, VR development tools. Like, okay, that... That could, that could, that's moderately interesting. It's a little complex, whatever. Eye tracking tools like Toby. Um, I was like, okay, cool. How about 20 more? It's like, here's some, some new ones. Uh, Gibber, which is allows you to create music and interactive sound experiences. Teachable uh, Machine. This is a web-based tool by Google AI. Allows to train AI models. Not really what I wanted. Uh, Brukel, platform for creating uh, narratives and games using natural language processing. So I was going through these and I was like, okay, these are a little more interesting. Um, Got to hear, uh, there's an award-winning chatbot known for its witty and engaging conversation. I was like, okay, I kind of already have that with OpenAI. And then Blurp. I was like, ooh, now Blurp I could get into. This platform allows you to cl to create collaborative stories in real time. Multiple users can contribute to a story by adding sentences and influencing the narrative. So of all the things, I was like, ooh, Blurp, Blurp actually has some potential. All right, let's 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 see where this goes. Um, so I, you know, I, I Googled for Blurp. Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Captain Rainer, thank you. Blurp storytelling. Uh, it turns out that doesn't that doesn't exist. This is a there's a Blurp podcast, I guess. <laughs> what it what is Blurp? Blurp sound memes. Oh, this is a sound sound memes for streams. So that's cool. It appears to be some sort of uh, funny meme soundboard for streaming. That's not really what I wanted at all. <laughs> um. So, and some of these others, I'm like, wait a minute, okay, how uh, how relevant is this information, actually? Um, and so, then uh, I was like, hey, you said this above, but I don't see anything about this online. Blurp, you want to remove this platform, allows you to create collaborative stories in real time. Multiple users can collaborate to the story by adding sentences. I apologize for the mistake, you're right, I provided inaccurate information about Blurp. There's no information available about a platform specifically called Blurp that allows for collaborative storytelling. It's possibly the name of the platform I was thinking of is no longer available. Or it could be a tool under development with limited information online. Nope. Blurp never existed. It's just... It's just wrong. Is there anything else I can help you with to find interesting tools for human-computer interaction? Perhaps I can suggest some alternatives for collaborative storytelling. Bot Kingo, thank you for the one year. Me, is there any similar tool to the description you gave for Blurp? Absolutely! There are several online tools that offer similar functionalities to collaborative storytelling concept you described for Blurp. 
Here are a few options. Sock.net, web-based platform for collaborative storytelling. Similar to Blurp, multiple, multiple users can contribute to a story after the end. This is another online platform for collaborative storytelling with a focus on world building. Yarn is a mobile app for collaborative storytelling. Disembodied Voices, this is a collaborative storytelling platform with a focus on audio. These are just a few examples, and there might be other tools available based on your specific needs. Turns out, not a single one of these exist. And I say none of these tools exist. None of these are real. Blurp isn't real. Sock.net isn't real. After the End isn't real. None of this is real. I apologize again for the information. It appears I made several mistakes in my previous responses. There seems to be a recurring issue with my ability to access and process information accurately. Great, thank you, Google Gemini. Very cool, I'm definitely gonna use your service. So, I'm sorry everybody, Blurp isn't real, Yarn isn't real, Disembodied Voices isn't real, none of it's fucking real, Gemini's a piece of shit. It did get me, which, you know, congratulations to it for a massive Gotham moment, but I was like spending this time looking at it, dude. Ugh, okay. Captain Rain, are they were 20 gifted subs, Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. Crazy, y'all are crazy. It blurp? Okay, yes, blurp is real, it's just not what it's saying, and it's not what I wanted. Like, all these things are probably real. Disembodied voices is probably something. No, this isn't even a- this- the disembodied voices isn't even a thing. Is that what it was called? <laughs> the disembodied voices are real. <laughs> so anyways, um... Yarn text message was a thing. Is yarn real or are you fucking with me? Yarn storytelling. But that was earlier on, right? It started to make things up more and more. No. No, this is not. This is like a poetry slam. This is not what I wanted at all. Like, yarn isn't real either. None of these are real. It's just super wrong. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> You failed! Are we real? <laughs> Anyways, I, I was so... I was so just, like, taken aback by Gemini just... Just, like, throwing tons of stuff out there. For me to be like, hey, Blurp isn't real, and it's response to, like, hey, don't worry. Here's five more. Okay, let's get into chat GPT. Oh, I was gonna do the meme template generator. Do we wanna do meme memes today? And I know me asking that question, people are gonna be like, yeah, memes, but actual question, um, that might be too much going on. So the meme template generator is the thing at the top left where you guys can make memes. I thought it'd be funny about what's going, like, to do AI invasion where people can make memes. Template generator? Yes, no. Or is that too much going on? If we have meme template generator, I'll probably have text to speech largely muted. Okay, people seem to want. Lux proxy, thank you for the one year. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, bring on the memes. All right, we're gonna do, it's only two thirds of people want it. That's not that high, but that's all right. Close out Discord. We adore the memes. Well, I know many of the people who talk in Twitch chat adore the memes, but uh, whether the broader audience wants even more stuff on screen, I don't know. Can we do A Invasion where we can only invade with memes? N maybe. All right. What you guys didn't realize when you were voting yes just now is that this was actually a trick. It was a trick to get you into a five minute coding adventure because I haven't used the meme generator in a while and hopefully it works. Time for a five minute coding adventure. It probably works. It definitely works. For sure. Why would it not work? This is what we did. Why would this not work? That would be ridiculous. Jesus, for take it to the not wheel. Work. Ah! Captain Rainer, thank you for another 20 gifted subs. Jesus. I thank you very, very, very much. That is extremely generous. Thank you. Um, okay, what do I do? Man, everybody's getting a sub today. Unless you dodged it. Um, what do I do? What do I need to do for image, for meme template?
I think this is it. I don't have to do anything. I think I just run it. Does anybody remember? What do I do? I, I need streamer bot, right? I haven't turned this on in a while. Um, I did thank you to Phoenix Bros very much for helping me debug this. So now the the tech the sizing of the tech should actually be correct. That's cash in the trash. Mantic Manticore, thank you very much. I uh, appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, it, it should all work because I was we were uh, working on it. I dodged the gifted by already being subbed. That is the ultimate strategy. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna put text to speech is muted in the stream title, so I don't have to do it here. Um, all right, I will let y'all know when text-to-speech turns back on. Not the five-minute coding adventure, just accept the five-minute coding adventure. You love the five-minute coding adventure. You love it. Look at it, look at the code. You love the code. Mods, ban them if they don't love the code. Now that the divorce mean is dead, I can remarry my wife. Eh, it could come back at any moment. You don't know that for sure. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Um, what am I doing? Dude, my brain is so slow right now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Saw somebody who didn't like the code. Mods, get them. Everybody else, you love the code. You love the code. The code is fun. It's fun to watch Doug write the code. I love when there's bugs and it takes him another 30 minutes. Captain Rayner loves the code so much he just gives 50 subs. Captain Rainer loves the code! You will look at the code and you will love it! Look at the code! Um, do I just run? Does anybody remember how the code works? I don't. I haven't opened this project in a while. What do I do? Uh, something about. I think I turn on. Meme. Jesus, take the wheel. Template. What a create meme. Jesus, take the wheel. Hey, you heat for five gifts. The heat also loves the code. All right, hold on. R real quick break from the code. This is just channel points. Um, I think I just turned this on, right? I create meme, and then this is 10,000 or 10 million points. And now, Jesus, take the wheel. I'm running the thank you, Mio, for 20 gifted stuff. My, Mio loves the code. Um, cool. I think we've purged everybody from the cult who doesn't like code. Uh, it, the code should just work. I think, hopefully, because it did work last time I ran it. Okay, so if I run the code. Hello? Run? Start debugging? Hello? Hello? Mean generator is now activated. Wow, he sounds really sad about it. Can Mods, can you ban that guy? He didn't sound very excited about the code. You love the code, chat. Okay, um, now we go, uh, over here, and meme template generator is just refreshing cache of the current page. Bam, and now it should turn something, it does OBS, yeah, it turns on the thing. Image ID equals zero, all right, should all work, and then we got streamer bot set up. All right, let's see if all this works without me having to do anything, and it all works perfectly, and it's I'm a great two-year subscription. That's cash in the trash. Uh, bees apps, thank you for the two years. Um, where is meme? Create meme. What is even the format of the memes? I don't remember. Oh. Two. Top text. Bottom text. Uh, Poggies. Okay, I think it works. <laughs> LOL! <laughs> that was a good one, yeah. Alright, so tentatively, everything works perfectly, and I'm the best. The way... <laughs> Alright, so... You gifted Nightbot a tier 3. Nightbot still thinks you're watching Paul Blart. Nightbot? Now that Nightbot is a tier 3 sub, it can... We'll let it live forever in the... <laughs> <laughs> in the blissful dream that I'm just watching Paul Blart Mall Cop 2 for the rest of my streaming career. Isn't that what we all would want? Like, wouldn't you love to be a bot and just believe that for the rest of your life?
Okay, so uh, for the people who don't know how meme templates works, this is the format. It is a channel point reward, meaning, sorry, you have to have channel points. Uh, I don't know how much I'll set it to, probably not that much. You redeem it as a channel point reward, and then you put in the text. You, the first thing is the number that you want. So there's like 75 memes or whatever. You can look at the link in the description to see what the options are for the meme image. So first up is the number, the meme number that you want. Then you put this bar, this pipe. Then you type the, the top text that you want, and then this pipe, and then the bottom text. So if you want to, if you think the uh, image number 17 is the most hilarious meme, you do 17, and then you do the pipe, and then you do uh, Doug, when, and then the bottom, and then put another pipe, and then the bottom text, which is he, he eat food. And so you would do this, and then that's going to pull up, uh, you know, I don't know what meme this will do. So you can see here, if you if you try to redeem it, there's a link to see all of the image you can do. <laughs> oh my god, got him! Wow, that was clever. Um, so, cool, that's how the meme generator works. Unfortunately, you do have to race a bunch of other people to get the meme first. Oh, and then if you, um, uh, th that image actually did work kind of well for just picking randomly. If you type zero as your image ID, then it will not be an image, it'll be over me. So, um, let me rotate myself slightly. Um, and here's what I'm gonna do. Zero, and then a pipe, and then Doug when he bald. All right, I know the bald jokes are absolutely hilarious and have not run their course whatsoever. Um, but I am going to just, I'm going to just do this and then we get out of our system. Okay. Everybody get ready to laugh a lot because of how hilarious the bald joke is. And then we're good. We're hit our quota for the day and we don't have to keep making bald jokes constantly. Everybody ready? Uh, I'm going to start playing, uh, victory music. Great. Here we go. Nope. You're already laughing. Hold on. I, no, the joke hasn't come up yet. No, no, no. Hold on. You got to pause for a second. You got to, you got to wait in anticipation for the joke. Okay. Is everybody ready? <laughs> It hasn't happened yet. It's... It's... I'm just gonna do it. So, do you see how funny... Yeah, so... Uh -huh. Captain Rainer... Yeah. Captain Rainer loves the joke. Captain Rainer gets 56 subs. Jesus Christ. Thank you very much, Captain Rainer. Um... So, yes, that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Yes, that was very classic and amazing. And now we can move on to new topical jokes that are relevant to the stream. Okay. <laughs> this never gets old. <laughs> it's gotten so old. It has been so old for so long. And now we're like looping it back to being funny because it's so old, but it's so aggressively overplayed. It is aggressively overplayed. Spiderhead, thank you very much. Um, Yasmin and Captain Rainer have both gifted 151 subs today. Thank you both very, very, very much. That is ludicrously generous. I appreciate it very much. Uh, it's not old, it's a classic. Yes, but if you watch the movie Airplane every day, five to six times a day, it gets boring. You gotta have, you gotta have time off from the joke for Airplane to be funny again. Airplane is always funny. Airplane is a classic. Up until you watch it hundreds of times every stream. Okay. We are going to get into the thing. Whenever um, I did, whenever I kicked off laundry, by the way, let me know. When, I, when the stream has been live for 50 minutes, let me know. <clears throat> but now, let's get into the actual thing we're doing today. Where is it? Here. Oh, I get it. He bald. <laughs> Thank you, Mio. No, laundry in like 20 minutes. Also, everybody I know has COVID. Not literally everybody, but uh, like most of my close friends. So, and then I'm feeling a little sick. 
Um, so I'll try not to cough directly in the camera so that you guys don't uh, get whatever I might have. I did a COVID test yesterday and I'm not positive, but I feel like I'm going to get COVID. Stay away from us. Well, uh, bad news. You and I are both going to be right next to each other in this home that we're robbing. Wait, uh, control H? Does it not work now? Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Oh, I know it work, huh? What? What What do? All right. Holy shit, that's 50 more. Uh, can we get another Poggies for Captain Reinor? Because that is absolutely insane. Captain Reinor, thank you very, very, very much. It's a ludicrous amount of support. Oh, right, right, I gotta change how much the memes are. Um, create meme will make you... How much do the meme cost? How do I disable this? Don't you guys love it when I ask a question and then immediately stop paying attention to chat? I realize I do that a lot, <laughs> which must be infuriating. There's a lot of things I do which have to just be so obnoxious as a viewer. And I'm not trying to be a dick. I just, I've just, there's a lot going on. You're gonna have to forgive me. I'm trying to figure out, uh, I'm just setting, I'm, I don't want a sound to play when the meme generator happens. It's I feel like there's a way to disable this. But, in the trash. Uh, oh my god, I can't read it. Solinarius? Thank you so much for the two years, I appreciate it. I'll probably make it like 2,500 or something. Um, the, the point isn't that it's like super expensive. I guess I'll just delete it. It's not gonna play a sound. Okay, um, that's the channel point reward, platforms, channel points, create meme. Oh, that doesn't need to be managed here. I can manage it here. Create meme, uh, 10 million is a bit steep. How about, uh, I don't know, 2,500, 5,000? Let's do 5,000 for now. I'll make it cheaper later. <laughs> Sorry to the pores. Sorry to the believers. I, do, I am kind of screwing you over right now. Actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna screw over the believers. 2,500. Sorry. Sorry to the uh, doubters, I guess. Wait, why did the meme just happen twice? It should only be... Oh, because I updated it. That's why. Um, Why are these happening constantly? There's too many of them. There's way too many. Hold on. What is going on? I'm pausing it. Uh, there's supposed to be... It's like supposed to be every 15 seconds. Create meme. Oh, I changed it to 5 seconds for, uh, for testing. How often should the memes happen? This template is not formatted correctly. What? You're just gonna have to get creative with it. Alright? This is not on me. Maybe like 30 seconds. I think probably 20. 20 seconds is probably the right amount. I'll do 20 seconds. Because then it displays for five. It no, I think it should be 30. It's not that it shouldn't be happening constantly. That's not really the point. It's like a it's like an occasional Exactly. It's like an occasional fun thing, not like constantly firing at the top of the screen. I'm sorry if you're only here for memes. You're gonna have to watch the actual content that I created for you. Also, thank you to Barry for making this uh, very beautiful house. <laughs> I was going to say more words, but no, I won't. The memes. Sorry. Here, if it helps you feel any better that I'm not doing very many memes. Code. All right, I hope you're doing well now. Cool. Let me toss this over here, uh, and then we will kick off the actual stream of today. Yes, apologies to Europeans. My stream keeps getting pushed back later and later. I just keep sleeping in later and later. Um, so it's not that I hate you. It's just that I hate waking up early for you. <laughs> it's just that you aren't worth waking up earlier. <laughs> um, okay, what's, what, what is a good song to introduce the concept of this? How do I introduce the house? It needs to be like um like ocean. What's it like an Ocean's Eleven type? Do I have any Ocean's Eleven type music? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Um, I have suspense music. I have Sly Cooper. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. <clears throat> As a reminder, Texas speech is currently muted. I will potentially turn it on later once we're a little ways into it. I just don't want to. Texas speech always gets insanely behind during these streams. So, um, <clears throat> it was an ordinary, beautiful day in the. Chat, what's the name of the neighborhood? It's a two-year subscription. That's cash in the trash. I can't read it. Not it. No item name. Thank you. Bobville. Town, town. Chatville. This isn't where you guys live. You guys are one of the... Rob You're burglaring this house. Death Robo. Thank you. Dougville. It's not my home. You and I are... are you and I are, are burglaring the home. It's not where we live. <laughs> Unsafeville. <laughs> I do like Pittsburgh, Barry, but there's something about a <laughs> living in Unsafeville. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it was a beautiful day in Unsafeville. Jesus, and as always. The Johnson family was having a lovely day. What? Down here in the living room of their home, a fire burned brightly in the fireplace. The kitchen to the left, with the oven on, waiting for Mother Karen to come home. The master bedroom, where Mother and Father would ruminate about their lovely day with the children. Up in the library, Reflecting on their many books and paintings of a book of like a shelf. <laughs> uh, often thinking about dad and his playtime in the gaming den with his favorite game, Wii Sports. Or maybe father would go into the office to do some business on his Herman Miller chair and his fax machine. Meanwhile, Johnny Johnson, thinking about his favorite skateboards, video games, and admiring his pet fish. Uh, little baby Pillsbury Johnson, who just loves to go swimming and happens to have, whoop, found herself in the toilet in the bathroom. And finally, uh, Doug Gina, the, the rapscallion teenage daughter who loves smoking weed. This was unrelated to the weed smoking thing that I was saying earlier. Um, and their shack in the backyard. Um... <clears throat> It was an ordinary day in the Johnson household, but little did they know what was coming for them. That's right. Crash! Boom! The front door breaks open, and two burglars step in. Doug Doug and Twitch Chat, these longtime rivals, have spent years competing over who could steal the most precious artifact from the world's top museums, banks, and mansions. And this time, in Unsafeville. They're targeting the Johnson family for some reason. This is going to be a competition to see which of the two of us, Doug and Twitch chat, can rob more precious items from the Johnson household. Whichever one of us, steal the dog. You don't have to steal the dog. I mean, you can. Anything highlighted in red is a precious item. If you steal the dog, that counts. That's a point. Uh, sorry, hold on. We need the fact that whoever steals six of the precious items around the house, the most valuable that we have personally scouted, will become the winner? What are, What is it? Will become super rich. Um, the Grand Sleuth and Most Wanted and Mob Boss. And the other person has to work for them. Um... <clears throat> Such precious items include the bed in the master bedroom, the refrigerator in the kitchen, D Dad's Wii Sports. What is, what is the name I have for him? I forget. I, I wrote out a whole description. Um, oh, Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson's Wii Sports. Uh, the urn holding... Uh, grandfather Granny's Ashes, Gr Granny Johnson, the fax machine, 
Uh, little Johnny Johnson's goldfish. Okay. Uh, look, a common misconception here. It's not the baby. The baby is not the precious item that you need to steal. It's the toilet. The toilet is precious. Steal the baby. Well, it won't get you a point. Or the daughter's hookah. <laughs> Wait, Barry, why is it a hookah and not a bong? <laughs> the whole room is weed. Smoke. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, <clears throat> also the dog. And maybe there's a precious item in the shack if you go, uh, go out there and look at it. Um, this innocent suburban home will be the stage for our great heist. And we'll see by taking turns with Novel AI who can steal more precious items. Whoever steals six of them first wins AI home invasion. Steal the shack. Okay, the rules are, by the way, as you navigate through the house, you can only go left or right. You can see the doors, okay? So if you're in this room, you can go through the door into this room, okay? If you're over here, you can go through the door over here. Or you can go up the stairs, so you could go up here into the living room, right? And then from here, you could go left or right or up into the up into the toilet hole, and then you can go right, and then I... Oh, oh, and here's the ladder. If you want to go from up here, you can take the door out <laughs> into the ladder and then go down. And I don't know why there's a door in the office that just kind of goes... This will just... You'll fall to your death, I guess. Okay. Um, any questions about this? We will be using, as always, Novel AI. I've written up a long introduction about this, which I will now read to you. <clears throat> Analog anagram. Thank you. The stairs don't actually have a hole. Do we have to cause property damage? We'll assume that you cause property damage. Um, okay, this is basically everything I said. This is what I'm going to tell Novel AI for the setup. This is the story of how two burglars, Doug and Twitch chat, blah, 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 blah. Burglars are longtime rivals. Their newest competition. They're, uh, they're going to invade the home of the Johnson family of various hijinks. Um, the owners of this home of the Johnson family, uh, Bill Johnson, Johnny Johnson, Doug Gina Johnson, and Pillsbury Johnson. Um, I talk about how they're going to move from room to room. They should be quirky and whatever. There's 10 total rooms. Um, this should be sore. It should be whimsical. It can feel like a mix of Home Alone and Ocean's Eleven with slapstick moments and revealing their personal lives. Here's how the turns work. All right, so I tried all this and I put I put all this into Novel AI and then I I ran I ran it <clears throat> just to make sure it works. This is the first thing that it came up with. <clears throat> Doug and Ch Twitch Chat lock picked the front door and stepped into the living room to start off. The burglar knows Twitch Chat decided to enter the kitchen to attempt to steal the precious refrigerator. Twitch Chat. <laughs> Lick my cock! I'm here first! <laughs> Doug Doug raced over the kitchen to beat his rival, but he stopped as he was on his way. Hey, who took my penis out of my pants? So this is like the literal first thing it generated when I set this up. So, uh, we're, we're in for a hell of a battle, guys. I didn't say that. Well, I'm using their newest model, Kyra, and I'm also using Asper, their config preset, which is for creative writing, expect unexpected twists. So uh, we're gonna see what happens. And I put the whole context of the story here. So uh, this is this is not con this is not canon. This is um just th this is this is just uh this was the test. This was the test. Um. It's canon now. <laughs> like my cock, I'm just... It's such a deranged fucking opener. There's nothing sexual in any of the things that I gave it. It just immediately went for lick my cock. Okay. <clears throat> Besides, you guys are a collective. I think you have a um some sort of um I'm gonna actually move on from this. Okay. <clears throat> As always, we will kick this off by Twitch chat. How should I do it? What's the best way to do this? Uh, reminder, text speech is currently off. I think the meme generator is back on. Oh, the memes are back. Yeah, I just turned it back on. I didn't say anything. Was it good? I didn't hear anything. Maybe I should turn a sound on so I know that the meme happened. And I can look at it. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's a good meme. <laughs> um...
If I am full screen in this one, and then I... Ah, okay, that's nice. Okay, as a reminder, you guys are here, and you can move left or right or up. You only have access to these three rooms. Um, if you just want to move, I'll say you can go, like, you can move towards the dog and move over here. But you can't... You can move into one of these rooms and do an action. It's like Dungeons and Dragons rules. You can move and then do one action. In fact, let's keep it simple. You can move into an adjacent space and do something. That's it. Uh, I feel like there's something else I have to do. I have to do my laundry really, really soon. Do I just wait to do that? Um, and I'm also going to re-add the noise in the meme generator because I kind of miss having a donk sound that tells me that... The, the name, it's a beautiful Christian name. It's in the New Testament. Look it up. I kind of want to add a, a noise back in. Which, which, what, like, I just want to sound like a light sound effect when the meme, when a meme pops up. What should it be? Uh, core. System. Sounds. Play a sound. A ding. I'm not, no, it's not going to be a fart. Super Smash Brothers menu click sound. Do you have that? Is that, do you just like have, have that around? Jesus, so, take the yes. wheel. This seems like one of the, one of the things you would like have in your little sound, <laughs> like, menagerie. Captain Rainer, thank you for another 20 gifted subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, can I get a, uh, Poggies in the chat? Wait, while you're doing that, I can do my laundry. This is perfect. That's not, that meme doesn't, why would you use the Drake meme for that? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do my laundry. Actually, shit, I think I have like a few more minutes. Do laundry. It's just, it's not done yet. I, it's got, I need to... Um, three minutes. It said 45 minutes and I did, it should be, it should be done in like a minute. I just don't, I can't, I can't go and do it without it being ready. Um, okay. When you are the key bridge and a boat launch it, approaches. I guess that is how bridges work. <laughs> Thank you. Um... You guys do need to think about what you want to do, by the way. You should start making a strategy, as opposed to just yelling about laundry. Um, which, you know... Okay, I'm gonna go check my laundry. You guys should strategize. I will play a dramatic song, and you can strategize doing. Doesn't know DDX arch syncs? I don't... I don't know what that means. I don't know if I'm looking silly by admitting that I don't know what that is. But I assume that's not a real thing. Okay, listen to music while I do la laundry. Discuss your strategy.
All right. <clears throat> Which sound do you prefer? What? What? Are these... Is this from Super Smash Brothers? There's so much... There's, there's, so, there's so much static. I... I'm gonna use Peggle. <laughs> I'm so... I don't understand what this is, Barry. I'm so confused and scared. <laughs> Um, thank you for putting these together. I am confused by it. Uh, I'm just gonna do Peggle. Peggle sound works. Um, uh, shared resources. Do, 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 do. I do have dog barking. It can make a loud dog barking sound every time. Okay, now it'll play a loud dog barking whenever there's a meme. <laughs> no, 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 no. Really long. Uh, where is Peggle? Let's do Peggle hit one. There we go. Let's make it quieter. All right, half volume. <laughs> all right, are we all good? Everybody's gonna go, right? Yeah, all right, we're all good? Yes? Okay. Quick Sparse, was the washing machine done on time when you were there? It's important. It had one minute left and I turned it off early. It was not actually finished. <laughs> okay. Um. Have the Beavis and Butthead laugh? Well then, no, because then Chad will think every meme is funny. We need to we need to remind people that they aren't funny sometimes. D respectfully and kindly, but also sometimes, you know. All right, um, let us uh, begin. You all know the story. You are here in the living room. We have just broken into the front door. Um, knock, knock, crash! We're into the front room. Twitch chat, you guys are up first. What would you like to do in the Johnson family household? As always, I will read suggestions and you will vote. What do you want to do? Steal the stairs. That's not... <laughs> Try to... That won't count as a point, but you can do that. Um, Steal the dog. You, you can... Okay, you can do something in this room or you can move into this room, this room, or this room. So you're saying I'm not bald. You can move into this room, this room, or this room. Um, light the couch on fire. What couch? Jesus, take okay. the wheel. <laughs> light the couch on fire. This is Captain Rainer with another 50 subs. Thank you very much, Captain Rainer. That is really obscene. Um, I appreciate it very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're not next to the baby yet. You can't try to eat the baby. Okay, light the couch on fire. Okay, if you go to the kitchen, what do you want to do in it? Again, you can move into a room and then try to do a thing. Call the cops? Like on me? On Doc? <laughs> um, I'm, I'm reading. Okay, I'm just going to give you like, go in the kitchen and steal the fridge. You're going to try to do this. <laughs> um, uh, okay, somebody says they want to take a dump in the kitchen sink. <laughs> take a deuce in the kitchen sink. <laughs> sure, you can do that. Uh, won't get you a point. Um, I mean, you can try to convince me that something else in the house is worth a lot of money. There is no, there is no basement. There is no basement. You cannot dig. I guess if you guys find the implements to dig, you could try digging. Uh, okay, go upstairs. Try to steal the urn.
Again, the urn, would, the urn would actually get you a That's point. cash in the trash. Kiss Doug. I mean, you can see what... Okay, you're saying steal Doug. You, how about... I'm seeing variations of that. How about uh, pickpocket Doug? And steal his shows or his uh tools i don't know try to try to fuck with me um this is not dramatic enough music we need to pump up music of some kind you can't steal me steal doug's penis okay throw doug in the fireplace as, as valid <laughs> Steal the fireplace? I'll put it in the list. I've seen enough people ask for it that sure, why not? Um, try to seduce the fridge? <laughs> um, yo, Lamaka, thank you. Um, seduce Doug. Well, I get to decide what. <laughs> seduce Doug. Great, great meme. <laughs> All right, here are your options. What do you want to do? Again, this is what you will try to do. This is not a guaranteed success. Um, you should be able to vote for multiple, by the way. Mm, how do I do that? Votes per viewer, isn't that here? Uh, what? I'm confused. Maybe you only get one vote. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Your first action, instead of trying to, like, rob anything from the building, is to... <laughs> is to call the cops on me. <laughs> okay. You guys realize you're also breaking into the house, right? What it... I don't even understand how this will help you. Me, when, when, eat, baby. Uh, okay. Um, how? Okay. Calculated risk. Okay, Doug, Doug, and Twitch chat lockpicked the front door and stepped in the living room. To start off, Twitch chat made a surprise move by calling the cops. But your beam didn't show up for some reason. Oh, uh... You added an extra bar at the end. I th think caused an issue there? Shield that binds? Sorry for scamming you. Okay, we're gonna say that if I get arrested, I'm out for two turns, and then I get to come back. From jail. <laughs> 300 subs. Holy shit, Captain Rainer. <laughs> Greetings from Russia. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate it. It looks like he watches erectile dysfunction ads in his spare time. Okay. Look, as we all heard from the AI canon, I have a fully functioning erectile member. Um, <clears throat> but uh, what, what music is good for this? I don't know if we want like dramatic music like this. Or police music because we're calling the cops. I don't know. I'll do this for cops. All right, as always, I'm gonna continue this up until there is a reasonable uh, conclusion to it. I'm also gonna make the meme a little bit smaller because it's blocking the text of it. I don't have Pink Panther music because I will get copyright struck if I do that. All right, let the great robbery begin. Doug Doug and Twitch chat lockpicked the front door and stepped into the living room. To start off, Twitch chat made a surprise move by calling the cops on Doug Doug to try to get him arrested. Doug, when chat steals his heart, well, you didn't try to seduce me. Let's see what happens. This is still, the meme is still too big. I need to shrink it. Ahem. <clears throat> hey, I got your back, Doug Doug thought to himself. Let's get down to business to beat my 450-year-old... Wait, what the hell? Hold on. What is going on? Why is it... Why is it showing... Wait, what is going on? Do I, do I like... What is... What is this? Okay, this is showing the information about... Oh, oh. No, I don't want token probabilities. That's why. Uh, 
You know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna make a new. Uh, we're this is the this is the same story that had the cock thing in it. We're gonna change. We're gonna we're gonna change this. Hold on. Um, new story. New story. Okay. Let's. That wasn't. That didn't count. Don't worry about it. We're. Th this means we're starting new and m m you. Me having my penis out is no longer canon. And then in memory, I throw all of this stuff. Rigged. Sorry. That answer made no sense at all. <laughs> I, should, I don't know if you guys should steal the baby. I, um, I'm just, I'm just worried about what it'll do with that. Okay, um, <clears throat> starting over. We begin now. Yuck. I'm waiting for the memes. <laughs> I feel like I need to make the memes slightly less frequent. This is every 20 seconds right now. I'm making it 30. Oh, it is 30. This is 30? Whatever. Why are your mods sub? Thank you, Viz. Right, hold on, let me move the alerts down. Um. <laughs> okay. I, ugh, whatever. Doug Doug and Twitch chat lockpicked the front door and stepped into the living room. To start off, Twitch chat made a surprise move by calling the cops on Doug Doug to try to get him arrested. Let's see if it works. Doug Doug was suddenly very fearful that the police might appear at any moment, so he rushed to find something valuable, pulling various items out of a cardboard box in the middle of the room. The first item he looked at was an electric fan, not particularly valuable, but looking closely at the cord plugged into the wall gave Doug Doug any idea. He could use the fan and the electric cord to set up an easy prank for Twitch chat. <laughs> Hold on. Am I, am I gonna... Am I pranking you now? No, the plan backfired. I... I'm gonna do one more... One more mulligan. And then we're actually starting. Um, I want to give it a little more information about calling the cops. I think I'm being a little too vague. By calling the cops on Doug Doug and trying to get them arrested, Twitch chat... Called 911 and told them a burglar is breaking into the Johnson household. I'm going to I'm going to give a little bit more guidance. This is helpful to you guys. This was I was going to like win that engagement. Why are you 9 what is what are you saying 911? Should be 112. I'll just say called the cops. He forgot. It's also the it's also the number that you call the police. Okay. <clears throat> we are sending it with this one no matter what happens. <clears throat> Too soon. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, it's 911, not 9 1 1. Uh, the mods can choose whether or not to ban you, Jeff. Your fate is up to them. Okay, we're sending it. I'm, I want to give them, I want to give the AI a little bit more info because I think it was getting, it was too vague about the police. This one we're sending. Doug Doug and Twitch chat locked the front door and... An addict of what? Doug Doug and Twitch chat locked picked the front door and stepped into the living room. To start off, Twitch chat made a surprise move by calling the cops on Doug Doug to try to get him arrested. Twitch chat called the police and told them a burglar named Doug Doug is breaking into the Johnson household. Doug Doug heard this when his alarm. He proceeded to run around the house for several minutes frantically and search for any hidden place he could hide from the police. In the excitement, Twitch chat... Oh, wait. You just, you're like, no, I can't. In the excitement, Twitch chat accidentally forgot to hang up with the operator on the phone call and left the phone receiver sitting in the kitchen. While Twitch chat, Doug Doug, and the Johnson family all tried to figure out what to do Jesus, to keep the home the safe from the incoming police. 
Doug Doug, realizing there was nowhere else to hide, locked himself in the nearest bathroom, hoping to not make too much noise. Okay, we're gonna end it there. It's everybody versus the cops. I have run screaming and hiding up the stairs and now I've locked myself in the bathroom. We'll say that I'm stuck there for two turns because I'm locked in. That is what you accomplished. I'm locked in the bathroom for two turns. And that means that I can be the one to steal the baby. Leave the baby alone. You guys have been, literally 90% of chat has been fantasizing about eating or stealing the baby for the past 30 straight minutes. He's our baby. <laughs> okay. Um. Wait, I forget. Have we normally done this in two different windows or in one? Should we do two different windows or just one? If we do just one, the, the stories merge a lot more. <laughs> I think we do one for this one. The stories will intermerge and this is gonna get a lot weirder, but I think it's important because otherwise like the, the family is gonna be doing completely different things at all times, you know? Um, steal the items and buy the Johnson household. Okay, we'll, we'll stay in one. Uh, this is gonna be a disaster. The baby when Twitch chat breaks in. <laughs> no baby expects the Dug Dug Inquisition. When Doug Doug entered the bathroom, he found that Pillsbury. When Doug Doug entered the bathroom, he found that the baby Pillsbury Johnson was swimming in the toilet. He decided to flush the toilet and then try to steal it. Wait, can I flush the baby and steal in one turn or can I just flush? Let's say you have to get the baby out of the toilet be able to, to be able to steal the toilet. <laughs> no, Doug, how could you? I'm gonna flush it. We have to get rid of the baby first. Or I m move, we have to move the baby. <clears throat> when Doug Doug entered the bathroom, he found that the baby Pillsbury Johnson was swinging the toilet. He decided to flush the toilet. In the bathroom with the baby Pillsbury. And the baby died? Oh no! Doug didn't intend to drown the baby. He didn't even know that there was a baby in the bathroom with him. Um, I felt like I did, but he knew it would look very suspicious to the arriving police to find a dead baby in the bathroom during a robbery. Oh my God! So what the fuck? Hold on, oh, this is not canon. This is not canon. I just want to be clear. I would not do this. This is a fictional, a fictional Doug Doug. So he stealthily and quietly stuffed the corpse in a drawstring bag and made a dummy out of pillows, blankets, and the rubber ducky. Okay, so there's like a sack doll character. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is your guys' fault. You locked me in the bathroom. <laughs> um, okay, uh, drawstring doll, or... Doll made human made of pillows? I need to get a visual for this. <laughs> uh, what what do I even what do I even search? What do I search here? We wanted to steal it, not murder it. I just thought it would like go I just thought it would go away, you know, like and this is a fictional duck. I'm role playing as a fictional duck. Voodoo doll. Okay, perfect. Copy. We get in here. Uh, so we're just we're just gonna place a. <laughs> this feels macabre. Hello.
Oh, the music really, uh, really suddenly dropped quickly. Okay. It's just not... You guys are focusing a little too much on whether the baby is died. Is If a baby is still alive in spirit through um, a doll made of pillows, is it? Is he really dead? Think about it, chat. You didn't even consider that. You with your Western way of thinking is so close-minded. Okay. Um, so now we're just gonna, we're gonna, it is. Oh, yes? Oh, the answer is yes. Interesting. All right. Well, riddle me this, okay? Baby body. Is it illegal when the cops come in to find a body made of pillows with a baby, a real baby head on the top of it? No, no it isn't. That's not a crime here in America. Sorry that, sorry that we have freedom here in America. <laughs> anyway, a uh, very touching story, uh, Twitch chat. You guys are up, you are down here. What do you want to do? <clears throat> Go. We revive the baby, okay. What do you want to do? Call the cops ag again. You've already called the cops. <laughs> like, wait, <laughs> call the cops and tell them Duck murdered a baby. I, they already are on their way, probably. We don't know. <laughs> the baby could be alive, okay? Presumably, this was... My viewpoint that I th I assume the baby died. All right, we don't know for certain. Um, you guys are down here in the living room. You can go up here. I will allow you to break into the bathroom if you want for the sake of the story, but you're supposed to only be able to go here, here, or here. Bedroom, which has the bed. Kitchen, which has the refrigerator. Um, and <laughs> that's a good meme. <laughs> Uh, the library, which has the urn, and the bathroom. Okay, chat is moving too fast. Uh... Okay. Break into bedroom. Try to steal the bed. I'm gonna give you just normal options. <laughs> um... You can, you can only move into one of those four rooms. You can't go outside yet, but if you go seduce the baby. No, we're not going down that route. Um, break into the, break into the bathroom. Try to steal the baby doll. I wrote roll. Uh, <laughs> break into the, break into the bathroom. Try to flush Doug. If you can successfully flush me, then I'm out of the game for two full turns. Seduce the police when they get here. This is going to cause a lot of issues. I know that's funny conceptually, but I feel like things are going to get really, really, really confusing in the story if we do that. Um. Try to save the baby in the toilet pipes. Oh, disguise as a police officer. And do what? What would you do? Oh, you can go steal the toilet now if you want. And try to arrest Doug. Go steal the toilet. Because now there's no baby in it. How many is that? That's eight. I don't want to do call park, sir. Um, let's let's hold off getting Parkster involved as long as possible. Um, raid the fridge. Raid the fridge for food, then steal it. All right, let's do one of these. <laughs> A baby trying to enjoy the toilet. <laughs> The baby was was probably already dead, okay? Nobody proved that the baby was alive before I got in there. 
That's a good defense in the court of law, by the way. <laughs> okay. All right, looks like you're debating between breaking into the bathroom and trying to flush me, calling the cops and telling them I murdered a baby, or raiding the fridge. Be a daughter and smoke weed. Um, just so you know, this was not intentional, but Barry, <laughs> this is how... It's actually spelled dogter. All right, you guys are voting to break into the bathroom and try to flush me down the toilet. Do you want me to mention anything else? <laughs> like you attempting to, um... Like, do we just keep it simple? I can just put a period. Oh, to avenge the baby. Do you want to shout anything? Most people seem to say for his baby, for the baby. Okay. Longs, longs, okay. <clears throat> Twitch chat decided to break into the bathroom and try to flush Doug Doug down to a toilet to avenge the baby, shouting for the baby at the top of their lungs. Let's see if this works. Twitch chat and Doug Doug could both feel themselves beginning to go down, and their clothing floated up to the top of the toilet bowl. Now we see Doug Doug, who put on a gas mask so he wouldn't inhale sewage water, getting sucked down the toilet. Uh, wearing a ski mask, a ski mask in hand, drawstring bag, clown jacket, flannel vest, Hawaiian print hoodie, Two shirts, heart-shaped sunglasses, and a giant gold crown. The gold crown floated in the air next to him. Okay, so is that success? That, this outfit, he's so dripped. <laughs> um, is that it? Okay, you guys, successfully, you guys, you flushed me down the toilet. Um, are you also in the toilet? It says everybody went down. I, are you guys in there with me or no? Or do you just get- I'm, I'm tempted to say you just got me into the toilet. I think we say I'm trapped in the sewers. Only you, okay. <laughs> with our multiple- This is a powerful sewage system that can handle all of these bodies. All right, we're gonna keep- we're gonna leave it there. I'll give it to you guys. So, after calling the cops, Twitch chat runs up the stairs into the library, up the stairs into the bathroom, and successfully grabs Doug, and jams him down through the toilet. I am now stuck in the sewage system. I am out of the game for two turns. Make his legs stick out. Wait, am I in? Am I like in the? <laughs> I 
<laughs> okay, this is really, really developed. As a reminder, <laughs> add the crown. Guys, I'm not going to Photoshop. This will take 30 minutes. Oh, wait. No, no, no. It did say my gold crown floated in the air next to me. Okay, I will add that one. Gold crown. Uh, search image with, wait, what? Just need a crown. Copy. Too big. Far too big. That's not canon. That is not canon. Steal the crown. Okay, we'll say if you steal a, a clearly precious item from the other person that that will count. But you have to successfully steal the crown. God, why is it not doing me? Am I in the wrong image? No, why is it so hard to select? The crown's gonna look bad. You're gonna have to deal with it. Why is the quick selection tool sucking so bad right now? we're gonna reunite okay the baby could be alive wait 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 that the meme has a good point <clears throat> Th that meme has a good point given the fact that i'm in the sewer i'm in the sewer and i'm alive that means the baby is not necessarily dead okay i clear i still made like a creepy patchwork doll of the baby but the baby's pro potentially alive in the sewer right we can all agree on that ask the ai i mean you'd have to investigate it's not up to us i'm saying the baby is potentially alive I might not be a baby killer. You said the baby's dead body. The head is on the doll. It literally said the baby's dead. It said it seemed to think that I shouted out that the baby was dead. Didn't I flush it though? How wait, how do I both have the body and the the head of the body but also flushed it? Also, I'm going to look I'm going to sound like an actual criminal if somebody takes this audio out of context. It's dead. How Oh, right, I used the corpse. It drowned. Right, okay. Right, right, right. Okay, that's good. Uh, never mind. Maybe I'm mistaken. <laughs> this looks terrible. <laughs> sewer outfit. Don't call it a sewer outfit. I don't understand where all these clothes came from. I guess maybe I was wearing that the whole time. It was like burglar or burglar, you know, fashion or whatever. Okay, there is now a crown. All right, let me clear this. Okay, there is now a crown floating in the air above me, which is one of my precious items. <clears throat> Wait a minute, I have an idea. I feel like both of us should start with one precious item. Mine is the crown, right? Like, I started with a crown, and that's a precious item that you guys are able to steal if you want. Which means you guys should also have an item. What is your item? that you started the burglary with, your precious item. The baby. No, the baby was not, you didn't have the baby. Clearly I had the, the crown the whole time and now it's like floating on my foot or whatever. You don't have the Pope, <laughs> like in your jacket. It's gotta be realistic, sort of. Uh, a tiara, like you just want a tiara. <laughs> um, Magic. All right, let's do a quick vote for like what. What is your precious item? I'm seeing tiara. 
I don't want I don't want to do Pope. I don't want to just repeat memes from previous ones. A chair. There's already a chair in here, which is a precious item, I think. We'll say a chair. Uh, a magic hat. <laughs> sure. It can be it can be Parkser. A picture of the baby. <laughs> Why would you have that? You're robbing the home. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just said a second baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the po oh, the Pope's hat. Well, the magic hat will be the Pope's hat. <laughs> Super processing. If you guys get a second baby, I'm gonna. If you guys get a second baby, I'm gonna. I'm gonna steal it from you and I'm gonna flush it. <laughs> All right. I want to flush your president's baby, chat. Uh, 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 oh, a plunger. That's a good one. Okay, which of these which of these do you want as your starting item? <laughs> Sir, a second baby. <laughs> this has become so focused on the baby. Okay. Um, okay. This is fine. This is fine. All right, your precious item is a second baby that you <laughs> you took with you during this home invasion. I will move your baby up here. <laughs> I, I definitively probably not. I think we need more information to be certain about it. Okay. So these are the two items that we've each started the robbery with. Mine is currently floating above me while I'm stuck in this toilet. Chat, your turn is up. From this position in the house, you could enter Johnny Johnson's room. It's not a cereal baby flusher until I do it again. You could enter Doug Gina's room, or you could go downstairs into the, the library where the urn is, or do something in here. Um, voting. What do you want to do? Oh, oh, steal Doug's crown. You don't have it yet. It's floating in the air. I'm out for two. You get two turns in a row. Um, okay. Most people want to steal Doug's crown. Somebody said, and give it to the, to your baby. Hold a funeral for the baby. Okay, by the way, the toilet is one of is actually worth a point. So you can try to steal the toilet. I guess while I'm in it? <laughs> Somebody said shit in the toilet! I'm I'm in there! <laughs> I'm already like halfway down. I don't think you can flush me again. I'm already in there. <laughs> flush the second baby. <laughs> uh, okay, um... Steal the daughter's... Ne uh, oh, okay, a lot of people want to go steal the daughter's uh, marijuana. <laughs> second the second baby's probably in on it, alright? The second baby most likely is also a criminal. <laughs> Just statistically. Steal the daughter. Okay, these are, this is, this is like just a, a very innocent suburban house, by the way. Okay, I think most people are gonna wanna try to steal the crown. I'm gonna stop it here. <laughs> you do have two turns in a row because you flushed me. Um, okay. In the first of your two turns that you got, you're deciding to take a dump in the toilet. <laughs> That's not even the right meme. It's supposed to be Oprah. <laughs> okay.
tried to Uh, this could get a little weird. If there's any Christian virgin babies watching. Oh, wait, no, there aren't. We flushed them. <clears throat> Ignoring the gold crown for now. Twitch chat pulled down their pants and tried to take a big dump in the toilet and flush it down onto Doug Doug. I'm not a baby flusher. <laughs> but it didn't quite reach the opening where Doug Doug was being flushed. Wait, what? Still, Twitch chat thought it'd be fun to dig up old memories and attempt to write out in poop some of the familiar signs and symbols of Twitch chat. What? I'm going to write including Wawazan's XQC Twitch prank. Bro, did you just leak? What do you think is beneath us in the toilet sewers? Like your mom's kimono and her lacy stockings? All right, so just to clarify here, you guys took a shit on me and then wrote out messages to yourself. Is that, I think that's what happened. Uh, great success. Uh, what do you want to do now? You still have another free turn. What next? Steal the golden crown. <laughs> Take another shit. <laughs> God. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't have a compulsion to flush babies. This is a fictional dog dog. Go get high with the daughter. <laughs> You guys are fucking deranged. Uh, try to steal the daughter. Try to steal the bong, which is an actual point. <laughs> try to flush the daughter. Let's keep it on. Let's keep this on the rails and only flush babies down the toilet and me. Leak XQC. Um, flush the sun. Oh, go flush the sun down the toilet. Uh, one guy wants to call, wants to go steal the urn. Have your baby take a dump on Doug. Okay, most of these seem to... I feel like it, we're still focused on the toilet or, or the weed, so I'm just going to leave it at these options. <clears throat> that meme isn't correct, because I'm head down in the toilet. I can't see up. Okay, we are narrowly competing between taking another shit on me or getting high with the daughter. As a reminder, neither of those will get you a point. You need to steal a precious item. <clears throat> but it doesn't seem to matter. Twitch chat has decided to go get high with the daughter. Who cares about points? <laughs> you only win if you steal six items. That's the whole point of the game. We can flush her afterwards. Uh, satisfied. Sparrowhawking, thank you. If I ever, like, dox myself, 
or like accidentally show information on stream that I'm not supposed to. That, that'll be the one time where it's like, bro, did you just leak? Uh, fortunately, though, Wabba Zans is applicable at any time. Um, Wait, do you guys, are you guys like trying to smoke? Is it just like, a are you asking if you can smoke weed with her? So you guys are, you guys are, you're moving into the daughter's bedroom. Are you going to, are you just going to start smoking it? Or are you going to be like, hey, can I join in? Okay, we're asking to. Okay. No flirting. No flirting with any of the family here. You can flirt with me or the cops. They discovered Dog Giant smoking a fat joint getting totally blitzed. So Twitch chat uh, asked her her if they could uh, smoke weed with her. Fine. The mom or the dad. But none of the kids. No seduction of any children. Okay. <clears throat> This is, <laughs> don't seduce, this is our family. You are robbing the home. It's not any of our family. This is the Johnson family who live in the innocent town of Unsafeville, okay? Yeah, you can seduce the toilet, that's fine. Um, okay. Wait, no, what's a weed smoking song? Do I have like a weed smoking song? We, we will say that the daughter, son, and baby are all 18 years old. That we're prep just in case something weird happens, that is canon now, okay? But no intentional doing that of any kind, uh, just in case something weird happens. Uh, what is a song that I don't have? No, no, no. I'm not saying what song should I put on. Is there like a video game song that I have that is like weed smoking? I don't think so. Maybe like Pizza Tower? No, this is still like too high energy. Wait, um. Okay, th this one, this one. Oh, okay, this is for sure. This is Pizza Tower music. All right. All right, you guys get to go again. Lord Bosti, thank you for the one year. Satisfied with their dump, Twitch chat moved left into daughter Dugjina's bedroom. They discovered Dugjina smoking a fat joint and getting totally blitzed, so Twitch chat asked her if they could smoke weed with her. Weirdly enough, she wasn't that alarmed that the Twitch chat person had broken into her bedroom and was demanding to do a drug deal with her. She gladly gave them an ounce of marijuana. And Twitch chat asked her where they could buy some more good weed. Since they were gonna need more. Why do you need more? An ounce of weed is a shitload of marijuana. Doug Gina then brought them to her dad, Bill Johnson, who owned a new cannabis store in town called Bill and Bros. Bill Johnson let Twitch chat become an employee of the store. Okay, you guys are working in a marijuana store down the road with Bill. And you have an ounce of pot. There is 10K of us. I guess that's... You're right, you're right. An ounce is enough for 10,000 people. Um, We win. Oh, so you guys give up your life of crime and you just work at a <laughs> you just woke at it work at a weed store now? Um that should be a valuable. What is an out hold on. What does an ounce of weed look like visually? This is a lot of weed. You don't need this much. Doug, be careful. It is legal where I live. It is fine to be looking at marijuana. Um, yes, we do. Okay, all right. Quick, quick, quick discussion. Are we going to allow random items, any narcs in here? What's up, Pluto? <laughs> Pluto, am I allowed to show weed on stream? I assume I can. I assume... Guys, somebody... Okay, hold on. I'm actually positive. It is perfectly fine 
for me to show a picture of marijuana on stream. That is not illegal. Why would you think it's illegal? You can, you can, look, I know this is going to fucking terrify you guys, and you might need to turn off the screen in case your mom is looking, but check this out. Illegal drugs. This is fine. I'm allowed to look at pictures of it. It's fine. <laughs> Call the cops. Well, the cops are already, cops are already here. I also work at Bill and Bros. Okay, hold on. We need to, we need to come up with, with, um, <laughs> So you weren't trying to get a job, okay? The end result of this is about who, which one of us can rob the house better, not who can, like, reform their lives. I already flushed a baby. I'm too far gone. Um. Okay, so you went up to the daughter. She gave you an ounce of marijuana and then introduced you to her dad who started having you sell weed with him at a store. We needed to decide if... We need to decide you get to if you can get... Very often. No, Jabbo! Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Jabbo, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea how to explain what has happened so far in this stream. Um... Hello, Jabbo. Hello, Jablets. I don't know what you guys uh, are called. J jablings? Uh, welcome in. Uh, we are... Uh, people are saying Doug drowned a baby. That's not... I think you're missing a lot of context. <laughs> That's not wrong, but it is, I do think it's missing context. Um, this is a, this is a stream called AI Invasion. I guess I should recap what's happening. What are Doug Doug viewers called Duggos? <laughs> Duglets? Duglings? Um, I'm not sure. I, I, this is not correct. Just because there's meme text over me, that's not, that doesn't make it real. All right, let me, let me actually recap everything that's going on, and then we're going to discuss whether or not an ounce of marijuana counts as a point. Okay, this is standard stuff. Um, all right, this is uh, this is a game. It's me and Twitch chat trying to rob a house. Uh -huh. This is the Johnson family household in the wonderful town of Unsafeville. Okay, uh, me and Twitch chat both broke into the living room, and our objective is to steal six <clears throat> precious items before the other person. That's just because the text says it. it doesn't make it true. Um, we both went into the living room. In each room of the house, there's an item highlighted in red that indicates that it's a precious item. Okay? If you can steal the precious item, you get a point. And the first to steal six precious items wins the game. Okay? So there's the living room. There's the kitchen with the refrigerator. Um, there is the bed over in the bedroom. Up here, there's the library with an urn with Grandpa's ashes. Uh, over here is the... Um, over here is the dad's gaming room with Wii Sports, which he loves. That's a point if you steal that. This is the office with a fax machine, which is worth a point. Um, up here's the bathroom. I'll explain what was going on here in a sec. The toilet's worth a point. Um, <clears throat> here's the daughter's bedroom. She loves smoking weed. And here's the son's bedroom. He loves extreme sports and his goldfish. Um, also, there's a shack that nobody's gone to, and there's a dog out here. Um, the way it works is we take turns... We have novel AI tell us what happened, but you try to move around the house and and steal items. You're telling me the fax machine is more valuable than an iMac. Well, this iMac is like two years old. The fax machine is, is 2024. This, this baby's fresh. Um, so let me quickly recap how the story has gone so far. <clears throat> we both broke into the living room. Twitch chat went first. Immediately, they called the cops on me and they called the cops and said that Doug is breaking into the household that caused me to be terrified so I ran upstairs into the bathroom and I locked myself in the bathroom turns out there was a baby swimming in the toilet so then on my turn I flushed the baby and the baby died and then for some reason my character decided to take the head of the baby and put it onto a patchwork doll made out of pillows and a drawstring bag it's not as bad as it sounds though um, then Twitch chat, uh, broke into the bathroom and fl successfully flushed me down the toilet. So I'm now stuck in the toilet, which is why they've had two turns in a row. And my gold crown that I apparently had floated up into the air. Twitch chat has not currently attempted to take the gold crown. Oh, by the way, Twitch chat also has a second baby that is their precious item. We both started with one. It sounds pretty bad. It's just, I think you're missing context. Um... Uh, after flushing me down the toilet, Twitch chat took a shit on me and then moved left into the daughter's room 
asked if she could smoke weed, if they could smoke weed with her. She proceeded to give them an ounce of marijuana and then introduced them to her dad who started, uh, who hired them at her store, the weed store called Bill and Bros. And now Twitch chat works at a marijuana store. Um, <clears throat> now that you're caught up on this very, uh, sensical storyline, um, we have to determine, do you get a point from any of that? Uh, this is 2D robbery, huh? Like, we have to decide, is only the pre-designated items a point, or should you get a point for, like, an ounce of marijuana? Because as soon as we say that random objects are worth a point, it opens up, everything becomes really broad, and it becomes harder to, to determine what's a point or not. I could go either way on this, but this also means I can get points if I find random things. Is it, or is there anything we could do to, to... We could say, like, max of two items that weren't part of the original set. How about that? And it has to be, like... This has to be, like, 90... 85% of people saying the ounce of weed should count as a point. Thank you, Wawazans, for donating 300 bits. <laughs> Half a point each. Well, that just gets too confusing. I feel like we should either have a point or not a point. Okay. All right. We're saying you get half a point. Or, sorry, not half a point. We're saying you get two... You can have up to two items that are worth a point outside of the original items that are worth points. So congratulations, you guys do earn a point. For your one ounce of marijuana. What image should I use? I'll use this one. All right, so after uh, like an hour of this, uh, you guys currently have a baby and an ounce of pot. <laughs> this might be a YouTube video. All right, I don't think YouTube will like it very much. I don't think they're gonna be, we're gonna have to check all these boxes of like, does this contain drugs? Does this contain violence? Does this contain nudity? Uh, okay. We'll see how it goes. No guarantee that anything ever gets turned into a YouTube video. I'm gonna get these little random dots off of your weed. Okay. Um, you guys are successfully working your job over at the new weed store. You are at two out of six points. <clears throat> I'm up. <sighs> okay, we will say that I have to take a turn getting out of the toilet. <clears throat> Plant material is certainly a way to refer to the devil's lettuce. Right, you guys are uh, you guys are selling plant material now. Um, meanwhile, back in the toilet. <laughs> dog dog attempted to break out of the sewer system and climb up out of the toilet. You don't have the crown. The crown is currently floating in the... I guess you're right. I don't have the crown right now. Okay, I've lost my crown. I would have to go get it again because it's floating in the air. I'm glad we took a shit on you. <clears throat> Swim through the pipes like a fish. 
Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna send this. I just need to get out of the sewers. Meanwhile, back in the toilet, Doug, Doug attempted to break out of the sewer system and climb up out of the toilet. However, as he climbed out of the toilet, he accidentally dropped his mask and crown on the floor. Doug didn't know which mask to pick up, so instead he dropped a bunch of money into the toilet bowl. He must have been saving up a bit for the past couple of years. Why? And made an offer with the Twitch chat. Whatever wealth he dropped into the toilet, Twitch chat could get, and Twitch would pay the shop owner a couple dozen ounces of weed in exchange. Um... Okay, I did it. I'm out of the toilet. Minus one point. I don't have any points. Okay, let me just recap. So I I get myself out of the toilet, right? And then proceed to dump all of my money into the toilet. Am I reading that correct? Did I lose the crown? No, no. The crown is dropped on the floor. I don't currently have it. I'll have to pick it up. Okay. And you guys also got all of the money that I've been saving up for the past several years. I guess that is a dub for you guys. Twitch chat, you are up. <clears throat> um, pop up music. Boom. The money is a point? I don't feel like that's enough. It's literally in the toilet. You don't even have it. I flushed it in the toilet. You're gonna have to go into the toilet to get the money. Uh, what do you want to do? So, you are currently off... I guess let me quickly visualize this. Um... Where am I even going to put the weed store? Okay, we'll say the dog, uh... What? What part of this is locked? Oh, the tree house is locked. Alright. Twitch chat, to recap, I have escaped from the toilet. You guys are currently working at the weed shop. What would you like to do? You are, the dog is outside the weed shop. Let me, in fact, let me put you over here. All right, sorry, uh, there's too much stuff going on. Here we go, what do you want to do? Smoke all the weed. Ask dad for a promotion. Steal the dog. Use all the money from Doug to buy more weed. I guess if you get another ounce of weed, that would be another point. <laughs> okay. Um... Smoke weed with the dog. I, I, hold on. Is this, is that like, is that like animal abuse? Should we not be messing with that category of, of topic? Unlike flushing babies. Okay. We're going to say you can't like have the dog smoke. At least you cannot explicitly try to make that happen. Um, smoke the dog. Okay, if you smoke all the weed, we'll say you can try to do it with your baby.
Um, you'll smoke the weed with your dog, with the dog and the baby, if you choose to smoke the weed. Um, try to seduce the dad. I don't know what that'll do for you, but you can do that. Oh, somebody said, ask the dad if you can have his Wii Sports, because that is one of the precious items. You don't even have to steal it then. Move to Russia. That feels like a bit extreme. <laughs> Seduce the weed. Uh, it feels a bit out of reality. Become the dog. Play. <laughs> Ask to play Wii Sports with the dad. There you go. All right, I'll be like one again. Um, you could also just try to steal the dad. <laughs> take, a, take a shit in the bong. Why? Whatever. All right, what do you want to do? <laughs> Buy the house, then rob the house. Okay, you've decided to ask to play Wii Sports with the dad. You guys are the worst robbers ever. You haven't robbed anything. You've just been wandering around becoming friends with people. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put on dramatic music to make you guys seem evil while you're doing this. <laughs> Gentlemen thieves. <laughs> you're just jealous. <laughs> Technically, neither of us have stolen anything. The only thing that's happened is I went and murdered a baby. Like, nothing else is actually of consequence has happened yet. Okay. <laughs> that we're supposed to be robbing. That is the whole point of the stream. You're not supposed to just hang out and smoke weed and play video games. Um. They decided to ask Bill Johnson if they could play his favorite game, Wii Sports, with him in the house. Do you need anything more than this? Oh, sorry. Store. Do you guys want to say, like, can you borrow the Wii? No, you voted to... You voted to play it with him. You didn't, uh, you didn't say... I will maybe allow you to extend it later, but I think, uh... I think you need to, I think you need to explicitly do that. I think this is all you get. That's what you voted to do. All right, let me get some um, very dramatic music. Actually, let me get some not dramatic music at all. <clears throat> Meanwhile, Twitch chat was working happily at their new job at the Bill and Bros Weed Storm. They decided to ask Bill Johnson if they could play his favorite game, Wii Sports, with him in the house. They all brought the Wii box with them and plugged it in, and Mr. Johnson showed Twitch chat how to play boxing, tennis, bowling, and golf on the console. There was a whole indoor jungle gym set up with many different areas where people could play these Wii games. I don't... It's... It's a pretty simple room, I think. Okay, so you guys... <laughs> Poggies. I mean, yes, you guys are playing video games with Bill Johnson where people could play these Wii games and there were various awards and medals on the wall showing how much Bill Johnson loved his Wii games. Twitch chat then offered to Twitch chat then offered to go try swinging a real tennis racket with Mr. Johnson outside on his tennis court and he agreed. You guys are just hanging out with the family. You're not even <laughs> You're just having a nice day out with the Johnson family. <laughs> All right. Fine. I'm going to add a tennis court. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't even a point, though.
How do I... What is a good image for this? Will this work? You can't put a price on friendship. Well, we... Where, where, which one fits? It's like this. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, hold on. We're, I'm going to play dramatic music so we get back into what this is supposed to be. This is us... Brutally robbing a home. Remember, chat, you're evil. Don't try to fight your true nature by playing tennis. not how this you don't you do not get a point for making a friendship it's just not how it works <laughs> how that i can't there's even a pic there's not even a picture for it okay wait what mask there we go okay All right, congratulations, chat. You guys have convinced Bill Johnson to go outside and play tennis with you. Why are there two of you? There you go. That's still not a point. Meanwhile, I am in here. Um, let me show you what a real burglar does. <clears throat> I'm going for little Johnny Johnson's goldfish. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the bathroom, Doug Doug decided to break into Johnny's room. Decided to break into Johnny Johnson's room and steal his goldfish. But Doug Doug ran away from the bathroom with the goldfish in hand and broke through the door, bursting into the office where the father, Bill Johnson, had just been playing Wii Sports with Twitch chat. Wait, okay, but so I have it. I have the goldfish. Hold on, keep going. Doug Doug asked why the father was playing this lame and boring version of Mario Party. My character's a dick. Bill Johnson was shocked to hear this and claimed that Twitch chat enjoyed his amazing sports games and demanded to know how Doug Doug knew that. <laughs> this distracted Doug Doug for enough time that Bill Johnson... Wait, this distracted Doug Doug for enough time for Bill Johnson to launch the Wii box at him, knocking Doug out and all the way across the office. Doug gave up and laid down flat on his back. <laughs> okay, so I grabbed the goldfish... I ran through the bathroom with it, down the stairs, and into the office where Bill Johnson showed up.
and then threw the Wii Sports at my head. So now I get knocked out, and I guess the goldfish is just laying here on the ground now. That's my Bill Johnson. <laughs> it's not a gutsy. <laughs> That's my friend. Okay. Uh, I still have zero points. Wait, hold on. Were you guys playing tennis during this, or did you come with Bill back into the game room? You were knocked back into the office. Oh, right. He actually he launched me like an anime, like an anime fight. Launched me through the walls all the way into the office. Now there's huge gaping holes in the walls. We came with him. We're his friend. <laughs> okay, fine. You guys came back with Bill in here. So you're now in the room with the goldfish and the Wii Sports and Bill. What do you want to do? <laughs> what do you do? Ask to borrow the Wii Sports and the Fish. If that fucking works. Ask. <laughs> Bill to adopt you. <laughs> That's not. I don't want to play tennis. I want to rob this house. I'm not sad. I'm not doing the. <laughs> I'm not doing this meme watching you guys play tennis. I don't want to play tennis. Okay. A lot of people want to seduce Bill. Um. We went for the side quest. You have to obtain the precious items. Uh, eat the fish in front of the sun. Eat the gold. Okay, a lot of people seem to want to eat the goldfish. <laughs> take, take another shit on Doug. Uh, we'll say you guys get two turns in a row because I was like knocked I'm knocked out right no 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 I just gave up I'm not knocked out um okay I think I think these are most of the things you want what do you want to do okay hotly contested between one and two it looks like one might be in the lead Okay. Why did Daddy Bill get night botted? I don't know why that message got. <laughs> so I'm trying to be the third wheel. I'm trying to rob the house. <laughs> I am trying to make money. All I've done is flush all of my savings into the toilet. Okay, you're gonna ask to borrow the Wii Sports and the fish. What's Wawazans? <sighs> Wawaz... <laughs> I will attempt to explain this, and I don't think it's going to clarify much for you. Earlier in the story, Twitch chat flushed me down a toilet, and while I was stuck there, they took a shit on me and then wrote Wawazans in the poop. That's as much as we know. Um. <clears throat> Oh, your meme got denied. Oh, daddy is blocked? Why is daddy blocked? <laughs> oh, Axel Auto, you're, you needed a space in between the bars. Okay.
Um, song. What song do I want? Oh, how about... You know what we have to use very much? Coconut Mall. All right. <laughs> I, just thought... <laughs> I didn't. I didn't come to the Johnson household <laughs> to play tennis. I came here to rob. Okay. Um, you guys are up. After this big confrontation, Twitch Chat and Bill Johnson stood together in the game room. Since they had become such good friends, Twitch Chat asked Bill if they could borrow his Wii Sports game and the Goldfish. Bill and Twitch Chat played a combination of Zelda games, Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask, Skyward Sword, and Pac-Man together. This was all the events of the first turn. And, and then Twitch Chat asked Bill if they could borrow his Wii Sports game. It's not a W. You're trying to get points. Bill Johnson was puzzled by this. The cops have arrived. <laughs> at the, at the, front the, the cops have arrived at the front of the house to arrest Dug Dug and entered the house looking for him. Meanwhile, the goldfish in Dug Dug's hands came back to life and swam off. Then the baby came back to life out of the drawstring bag. Then the pot plant magically started breathing again. Doug was able to rejoin his friends after apologizing to the homeowners for crashing through the front door, but the cop arrests all three of the burglars. Oh, right, because your baby is a burglar. <laughs> um, I think we re-roll this. I don't love the premise of re-rolling, but this is too... I don't know how we get the story back on track after this. Or do we leave it? We leave it? We need a prison break sequence. <laughs> Fine, we'll leave it. Um. Okay, as a reminder, there is a shed over here, but for now, it's just gonna be the prison. Actually, wait, I'll move the shed. Why is this locked? Why is the shed locked? Nothing in it is locked. Oh, that's what's locked. Okay. Oh, oh, these are all locked. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, right, there we go. <sighs> Sorry, you guys are you're gonna have to watch the cutscene of me moving the shed around and adding a prison. Oops, I'm adding... Why is the tennis court over here? You can't skip the cutscene. You have to watch it. locked. Uh, I need to find this ladder. Um, there's a lot of layers in this Photoshop document, so I'm trying to find where the ladder is. No, that's the prison. How do I find the ladder in this Photoshop document? Uh, not 
not the shed. Oh wait, it's probably in the house base layer. It's gotta be here. Outside ladder, here we go. There we go, all right. All right, and a fun twist. Wait, no, prison needs to have multiple, okay. Cutscene is almost over. Wait, what? Where's the where's the prison? Oh my god, this is a mess. Okay, this is the prison. There we go. Okay. Doug and Twitch chat are both sent to prison. Along with chat's baby, who's the third burglar. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're not in prison yet. We're just arrested by the cops. Do we... I want to re-roll it. Okay. So we don't need a prison yet. We need cops. None of this is true. Why did I add a prison? We aren't in prison. We were just arrested. You don't even go straight to prison if you're arrested half the time. Why did I do any of that? <sighs> okay. The reason I want to re-roll it is because the baby coming back to life. Because that doesn't make sense. Unlike everything else. I think probably not. Reroll meaning we undo that result. I don't want dead things coming back to life. That's the main reason I would want to reroll it. <sighs> okay. Let it live. I think death needs to matter. That, that is one thing where the AIs are not good at, like, keeping persistent state. And I think it, it undoes the, the sense of things being permanent. So, I'm going to re-roll this. I know we, we, I just wasted five minutes setting up a prison. But, hey, now we have that for in case anybody gets arrested. And maybe that will still happen anyways. Okay. So, going back to it, I am on the ground. You guys are here. You're going to ask Bill Johnson to play... You're going to ask Bill Johnson for Wii Sports again. Wait, wait, are we really redoing this section or all of it? I think just here, the second part, right? Okay, this is this is the only the only time we're gonna re-roll all of it. Well then you guys canonically didn't play Zelda and Pac-Man together. Alright, your funeral. Um Okay, I I wanna be very sparing with re-rolling because otherwise it's too easy to be like oh i don't like that right which is not the point um 
I think if it directly undoes a major decision from before in a way that isn't realistic whatsoever, that's the only scenario that I really want to reroll. So in this case, bringing things back to life, I think that is uh, that undermines the impact of the story. <clears throat> With all that being said, let us begin. Doug killed the baby again. Casually mentioned him. The <laughs> Realistic is different from breaking the laws of life, I guess, in a totally unrealistic way. Okay, here's what I can do. I could, okay. This would also change it a little bit, rather than just re-rolling. I could give it, I could make it into a quote, right? Like, hey, Bill. And you guys could add, you could add, you could add, uh, no. Can I borrow? You're carrying a baby. We don't talk like that. <laughs> okay, fine. I'll just do this. Add that Doug killed his baby after we got the goods. Oops. Add in what was it? I think we just sent it. I think we just sent it. All right. <clears throat> So after this big confrontation, Twitch Chat and Bill Johnson stood together in the game room. Since they had become such good friends, Twitch Chat asked Bill if they could borrow his Wii Sports game and the Goldfish. Bill Johnson said yes, and he left, eager to keep playing his own Wii games and bring his family together for family sports time. <sighs> okay, so... You... <sighs> Thanks to the power of friendship, Bill Johnson agrees to let you borrow the goldfish and the Wii Sports, which means you guys have earned <laughs> two, two more points. <laughs> if you want, I'll let you add in a quick note that his baby's dead. Do you want to do that? Okay. Wait, what else did it say? Twitch chat exited through the front door and ran over to the Bill and Bros weed shop and then walked into the shop passing by their toilet bowl friends. What? They threw their masks back on them. When the mask touched their heads, they woke up. The toilet bowl gang decided to pool their loot and the goldfish which we can count as their winnings for the round. What the fuck is this? Hold on, you guys have been so innocent and fun. Apparently you have a toilet gang. Uh, we'll say that next turn you guys can casually mention that the baby's dead. All right, you have gone uh, with your loot back to the weed shop with your toilet gang. Toilet gang, rise up, okay. You currently have four out of six items. <laughs> well, it, hold on. Ha. Ha. You still have to see it. That's right. Okay. I am here in the office. I'm going to stand up and I'm going to steal the washing machine. Meanwhile, back in the office, <laughs> the sewer people and the toilet gang. What, what? What did I say? 
fax machine. What did I say? Did I say washing machine? No, I didn't get knocked out. I didn't get knocked out. Look. I gave up and laid down flat on my back. That's different. That's not knocked out. That's I chose to stop and stop and sit there doing anything. Yay, Toilet Gang is back together. I don't think it's like a, a group of friends who are hanging out doing tennis together. I think it, presumably it's some sort of gang of criminals. And now that you've reunited, you're going to go back to a life of crime. Meanwhile, back in the office. Knocked Doug Doug out. Well, it says I just laid there. Meanwhile, back in the office, Doug Doug stood up. <laughs> That's not. I'm waiting for this to go away. Meanwhile, back in the office, Doug Doug stood up. Using one of his many nefarious and evil plots, he decided to recommit to a life of crime and steal the fax machine in the office. Before, Doug had planned to carry out just the goldfish with him, but when he decided to steal the fax machine, he had a much harder time managing all of his items. So he dropped the fish in a mug and tied a rope around the fishing line of the hook. Is this a different fish? The mug hung out of the window and the opposite side of the room swaying gently in the morning. Okay, hold on. So I'm like swinging a fish out of the window? Doug and the fax machine tried to escape out the window, but ended up crashing on the ground below. Okay, I think I got the fax machine. I think I grabbed the fax machine. And we jumped out the window. And crashed onto the ground. You broke it. I don't think it's broken. Doug, inspect, Doug Doug inspected the fax machine for any breaks. Doug inspected the fax machine for any breaks. To see if the fax machine is okay, he looked up tutorials on how to build a makeshift electric ray gun and <laughs> fired it at the fax machine. Luckily, the fax machine didn't turn into a microwave and the damage didn't transfer over leaving Doug Doug with a mostly functional tax machine. That counts, I win, I get a point. Since the items didn't contain any significant value, he wrote on a piece of loose leaf paper, a letter in gibberish, then wedged this mysterious paper between the wall of the house and the windows. Okay, I get the fax machine. I get a mostly functional fax machine. Uh, you have lost all of my savings uh, in a toilet-related accident, and I lost my crown, but that's fine. And a ray gun. I don't think that's a point. Since the items didn't contain any significant value. Um, I think it's talking about the other items that I have. <clears throat> Can you recap what has happened? Uh, God. It has been a little while since I recapped. I do like recapping for people. <laughs> Another microwave narrowly avoided. <laughs> Thank God. Thank God I've dodged that. Um, okay, let me... I'm going to recap everything that's happened so far in the Twitch chat AI home invasion game. Okay? Chat, correct me if I'm missing anything. I do want to make sure if somebody tunes in midway through this, they can somewhat follow what's happening. <sighs> okay. This is the invasion of the Johnson family, an average suburban home in Unsafeville. No, ray gun's not a point. That doesn't feel significant enough. If I was able to quickly build it outside and shoot it at the fax machine, I'm not counting that as a, as a point. I need it to feel significant. We both entered the living room. I decided, no. The first move by Twitch chat was to call the cops on me. And they called the cops and said, Doug Doug is breaking in. In a panic, that caused me to run upstairs and lock myself in the bathroom. I discovered that the baby 
was swimming in the bathroom. So I flushed it down the toilet, and that killed it. And then I turned it into, like, a patchwork doll thing. Then Twitch chat broke into the toilet, into the bathroom, and flushed me down the toilet. What happened after that? I think they took a shit on me next. Uh, then they took a shit on me, and, but that didn't actually do anything. And then they ran over here into the daughter's bedroom and asked if she wanted to smoke weed with them. She gave them an ounce of pot, which is one of their points. Oh, by the way, Twitch chat started with a baby. I started with a gold crown. The gold crown fell out when I was stuck in the toilet. Right. They wrote Wawazans in the shit that they had taken on top of me. Uh, the daughter gave them an ounce of weed and then introduced them to her dad, Bill Johnson, where they played video games together. And then Bill Johnson hired Twitch chat at his weed shop that Twitch chat worked at for a little while. Then Twitch chat went back to Bill Johnson and I think they played more Wii sports and then they started playing tennis for some reason. And then I, I think at this point I got out of the toilet and then I went into the son's room and I stole his goldfish, which is one of the key points. And then ran in here for some reason. And then the dad beat me up and threw me through two bedrooms into the office where I was laying down. Then Twitch chat came back and played more video games with Bill and then asked if they could borrow Wii Sports and the fish, which is how they have both the Wii Sports and the fish. And then Twitch chat went back to the weed store and started uh, talking to Toilet Gang. We don't know who that is. And meanwhile, I stole the fax machine and jumped out the window and crashed onto the ground. I think that's everything that's happened so far. It's first to six items. So right now, Twitch chat has successfully gotten four. And Doug Doug has successfully gotten one. I am so lost. What happened to the police? The police haven't showed up yet. It t they kind of did at one point, but we ended up redoing that because it revived dead people. Got it. Thanks. I don't know how anybody could follow all that, but um, <laughs> they're stuck in traffic. Right, mm -hmm. right. This is real in canon. I, I think the AI didn't forget about the police because it did bring them back. And you have to pass through the kids' room to take a shit. I don't get what you mean. Tell Bill about... Okay, well, anyways, it's, it's Twitch chat's turn. Okay. My brain f feels like it stopped working when I said all that. I'm good at, well, I'm good at robbing fax machines. We can all agree I'm good at robbing fax machines. It still mostly works, and it's not a microwave. I'm going to use the bathroom. I'm going to have a very quick snack. We will return shortly with more Doug Doug. Get up rock, get up burn, oh, you guys can decide what you want to do next. You are next to the dog who is a, co a, a point, by the way. Be afraid to listen to your own heart. Be 
Just a sec, I need to check something. Um, oh, that was good timing for the song. Chat, you guys are up. You are hanging out in the weed shop with Toilet Gang. What would you like to do? What do next? Adopt the dog. I guess I didn't even say who owns it, so that's fine. Uh, I guess that's okay. That's, in a way, that's stealing, so I'll allow it. Play Wii Sports with the dog. <laughs> <clears throat> Try to seduce Bill Johnson. <laughs> that's not... Try to marry Bill Johnson. Um, or ask Bill to adopt you into the family. Somebody, somebody just said pet the dog. <laughs> Call Bill dad <laughs> and see what happens. Also, tell him his baby died. Oh, wait, no, no. Tell Bill his baby is dead. Ask him to be his new baby. Somebody said, take the wall. I don't know what you mean. That's fucked. I'm picking that. That, I guess, is the same as asking him to adopt you into the family. It's just more insane. <laughs> Call the cops to ask if they're almost here. <laughs> okay, I am putting steal the dog as so there's an actual crime that you can do. Go ahead. <clears throat> hmm. 
<laughs> Where are the baby now, Bill? Jesus Christ. <sighs> this is simultaneously like the simplest AI invasion we've done and the most deranged. Okay. Twitch chat's master plan coming to fruition. You guys are just trying to join the Johnson family. Meanwhile, Twitch chat went back into the game room to meet with Bill Johnson. They said... What, what, how am I phrasing this? Is it like... Uh... I'm so sorry your baby is dead. Is it like a fr <laughs> Is it like a friendly? If we join the family, we technically own all of the items. I don't know if that counts. Um Baby dead we baby. Uh Hello Bill. Since we're such good friends. Is this, is this too verbose? <clears throat> uh, I like jalapeno, lime cheddar chicken, Peruvian chicken, uh, blackened salmon. Those are probably my three favorite. It? I don't know what I don't know what it was. So we're just doing it. Johnson will figure it out. Is that good? It's kind of it's kind of long and wordy, but as long as you guys are okay with it. Thank you, Barry. Uh, I see it. Got it. I think this is good. P? Everybody's just saying P. What? Did I miss a P somewhere? Is there an extra P somewhere? Or are you just saying P? Oh, it was one of the memes. Oh, okay. I was so, so confused. All right. Um, I'm trying to think. What is a song that makes sense for you not only trying to get adopted, but also letting a dad know that his baby died in a tragic accident that nobody was responsible for. <laughs> Storyteller. Coconut Mall. None of these feel appropriate. Um, Alright, we'll do Coconut Mall. <clears throat> okay. Meanwhile, Twitch chat went back into the gaming room to meet with Bill Johnson. They said, Hello, Bill. Since we're such good friends, I have something I have to tell you. Doug Doug the Burglar killed your baby, Pillsbury Johnson, by flushing it down the toilet. Can I be your new baby and join the Johnson family? You know what? I, I know the song we're doing. What has been happening to my beautiful family? Barry, there's a lot of issues with the family. If he says yes, you're officially in the fam. <clears throat> Here we go. Bill Johnson said, Wow, I can't believe Pillsbury's dead, and I can't believe Twitch chat has revealed all this devastating information. Actually, we were totally happy with the lack of the original Pillsbury because we were planning because we were planning on putting all of our time and energy into raising Twitch chat? With raising Twitch chat and making sure Twitch chat knew and grew and flourished just like our daughter Dugina. 
We have a bit of a track record for losing children. It is a shame to have lost Johnny. Johnny's dead and his dog Scully. That's also, okay, the dog's also lost? What? Um. <clears throat> okay. I'm waiting for the meme to go away. And that's also why we needed to raise a new baby, Pillsbury. Suddenly it made sense to Twitch chat because it was on Johnny's tombstone that they had gotten the ounce of wheat. <laughs> but also made sense because Doug's name, Doug Gina's, wait, but it also made sense because Doug Gina's name meant she could be a little dog that could be mistaken for a human girl. What on fucking earth? Okay, Twitch chat is officially part of the Johnson family. Okay. They are, they are now focused on raising you and making sure you flourish. Uh, okay. We win. No, you don't win. You don't, why, why would you win? You didn't steal anything. You're just part of the fam now. Um, Twitch chat is the baby always has been. Um, okay. So you're part, you're part of the family, I guess. We stole their hearts. It's our house. Okay, hold on, no. Of the objects in the house, the bed clearly belongs to the parents. The refrigerator clearly belongs to the parents. You already have the Wii Sports. The urn belongs to the parents. The fish is the the kid's dead apparently, and his goldfish is dead. The toilet belongs to the house, I guess. The daughter's hookah is hers. I would say that you guys, by becoming part of the family, inherit the toilet. But everything else is owned by other family members. Put a gravestone in. Oh <laughs> yeah, I forgot he's he's been dead the whole time. <laughs> Uh, where are you, kid? Why can't I select you? Alright, son. You're being replaced. The dog is definitely you don't have. Do we get our own room or do we sleep in the bathroom? Okay, Johnny Johnson has been replaced. Uh, the baby is dead. <laughs> the daughter's smoking weed, and Twitch chat is the only one alive. Okay. We are taking Hillsbury's bed, the toilet. <laughs> okay. We will say you get one item... And you get to pick a room that you're living in now. Well, you know what? Actually, let's ask Bill Johnson real quick what room you guys live in. Or do you pick? I could go either way on this. Okay, we'll say we'll say toilet. Most people are saying the toilet. I'm worried if we ask, it's going to get really derailed and we're not going to get any answers. Okay, we'll ask. We're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna make sure I get a really quick answer though. We're not letting this derail, okay? Twitch chat replied. That is accurate. Okay. Uh, let's figure out where in the house you guys actually live now. Twitch chat replied, That's amazing, Dad! Now that I'm the new baby of the Johnson family, which room in the house will I be sleeping in? 
Bill Johnson replied with, why don't we let you just pick the place? I just want to know where you sleep. Twitch chat said, in Pillsbury's old swimming pool. Okay, so you literally go pick the toilet. <laughs> Congratulations. You guys have officially become adopted and have moved into the bathroom. <laughs> that does mean that the toilet is officially yours. And you have obtained your fifth precious item. Which, to recap, is a toilet, Wii Sports, a fish, weed, and a human baby. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. You don't want to become part of this fucked up family. Their son has been dead, all right? Can we kill Bill and inherit the house to win? One sec. I need to update something. Oh, sorry. You missed the meme. No, but that's the thing. You haven't acted like Twitch chat. You're supposed to... You're supposed to loot and rob. You, you've committed no crimes today. <laughs> Not one crime. The only thing you did, even related to crimes, was calling the cops on me. One sec, I gotta, uh, I gotta... I'll let you see what this meme is. Shitting on people's a crime. Is it a crime if a man flushes a baby down the toilet and then you shit on him? That's a good question for Parkser. I think he's traveling though, so I can't call him right now. When we're a baby with our own baby. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Dude, the memes have been good today. They've been very, very funny. <laughs> the house is ours. Kill Bill. <laughs> See, this is the question. Now that you guys are ingrained into the household you could win by killing bill and taking over the family you could give in to your base impulses chat you could become the criminal that i know you were meant to be most of you want to you're all saying kill bill take over the family take the weed for yourself listen to the voices in your head chat think of all the crimes you could commit if this home is yours See, somebody said kill Bill and steal everything. All right. One sec. All right. Well, you look at that. Steal Doug's loot, kill Doug. I guess I do have the fax machine. Okay. Wait, I have another idea. <laughs> That's what I imagine. I mean, it doesn't seem like the family is that loving, to be honest. We sound like Gollum. <laughs> My precious. 
Sorry, I'm. I just have to do a few things in Photoshop. The crown is free. That's true. Do we have the crown? So it's our. It's our bathroom. No, I think you have to go pick it up because we don't know what kind of like weird properties the crown might have. I don't think you can just assume that the crown exists. Um. Just a second. Sorry to whoever redeemed the uh, meme. I need to hide things for just a sec. Sorry to... I scammed two people. Beast up 7 up said, if we grab the crown, we win. And Silver said, Doug, bottom text. Those are... Those are that's, sorry for scamming you out of your memes. All right. This means that I am up. And I might not be the best robber there ever was. But now that I've crash landed outside with my fax machine... I am in direct line of sight with that dog. I'm not going to kill the dog. Not the dog. It's that what you want me to go for a fucking bed? The, the, the other the, the other thing I can do is get a bed. It's just it's <laughs> I feel like the dog is be that's our family dog. No, Bill said Bill said that the dog ran away. They said his son died and the dog ran away, right? I'm pretty sure. We have a bit of a track record for losing children. It was a shame to have lost Johnny and his dog Scully. And that's also why we needed to raise a new baby. Scully the dog is was lost. They're both dead. <laughs> That's not the right use of the meme. Um, I guess I could... Okay, wait. No, so you guys are... You guys are here talking with the dad. You know what I'm going to do? You've been able to move around a lot. I'm going to run up the stairs. Oh, I'm going to run up the stairs. Back into Johnny's bedroom. And I'm going to go try to grab my golden crown before you can take it. Oh, that's good. That is two moves. You guys have been... I let you move from the weed store all the way into Bill's room to ask him to join the family twice you did that <laughs> you guys have done that oh now the rules of movement we need to be really strict on the last two or three turns you've moved across the entire map rigged but fair fourth degree rigging <laughs> you guys have moved so much so recently and you're still freaking out at me yeah all right all right Thank you. 
<laughs> That's not even a meme. That's not a meme at all. Okay, is this fair? This text? Okay. This is important for me not only to get uh, to get the crown, but also to deny you the point. As a reminder, it's first to six precious items. You guys are currently at five. But things can turn around quickly in a game of AI invasion. Let us see what happens. Meanwhile, Doug Doug climbed the ladder up the side of the house, ran through Johnny Johnson's old bedroom, and into the bathroom. Here he tried to grab his golden crown, the it's one that had fallen onto the floor when he was That's trapped on the toilet. In the trash. Real garlic bread, thank you for the two years. All right, here we go. It was such a delicate golden chain with a tiny baby panda bear sitting in the center. Doug felt jealous of the baby panda bear that got to be locked onto the crown like that. Okay, so he's talking about the crown. It was worth an enormous fortune. He admired it for a while before stashing in his pocket. Finally, whoa, it was time to complete this burglary. He could tell from Twitch chat's brief descriptions that they had been around most of the rooms in the house. So he decided, I'm letting this run, this is huge, to stick to his old fashioned, steal anything he possibly could. In, in the bathroom was some nice makeup and shaving cream, but that wasn't exactly his area of expertise. Instead, he decided to steal the trash can. Okay. That huge move for me. I steal not only the crown back, but also a trash can, which is not a precious item. So I'm just like a klepto? <laughs> Our trash, I guess this is your guys' trash, technically. Um, hold on, give me a sec. Okay, we're gonna put in my loot that I have your trash can, but it's not worth anything. So I only have two points. But I wanna note, I haven't had a lot of success as a burglar, so I at least wanna have my success written. We stole a baby. You started with a baby. It was your initial starting loot. Just like my golden crown. <sighs> okay. Back to you, Twitch chat. Trash thief. All right. <clears throat> As you're talking to Bill Johnson and debating your potentially final turn, you hear a noise outside. It sounds like some sort of maybe vehicle is on its way over. And then suddenly... Boom! A car crashes into the side of the kitchen! And Karen Johnson steps out! Saying, hello family, I'm home! But in the cratered wreckage of the kitchen floor, you see a hole that goes down. And reveals a basement! 
full of various kidnapped people and a baby who's a new key item. And now, Twitch chat, what do you do with your final turn? You need one more point to win. Steal the basement, baby. I vetoed because it was a secret, Fizz. Kill Karen because Bill is ours. Steal our new mom. <laughs> Fine, we'll say she's a precious resource. <laughs> Flush Karen down the toilet. Uh, uh. <laughs> Flush the basement, baby. Steal all the kidnapped people. Hey, <laughs> call the cops on the Johnson family. <laughs> Fine, the car will be a precious resource. Uh. All right, these are most of what I'm seeing. What do you want to do? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Karen won't get away with this. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, in their final move, after being lovingly adopted, Twitch chat's gonna call the cops on this criminal, negligent, baby-killing family. <laughs> Karen, people are pretty upset at Karen. <laughs> true, true. This crosses the line, you guys. Bill just wanted to play on the Wii. What is your emotion right now? In a fit of what? What is it? What? What? What are you feeling as you experience this? Horny. <laughs> uh, okay. Wait, hold on. Are you calling it on? The whole family, right? Or are you trying to just get Karen arrested? Just Karen. The daughter is smoking weed. That's not legal at her age. <laughs> just Bill. Okay, hold on. I'm going to I'm going to put this to a vote. This feels important enough. <laughs> we put Karen in the thing. <laughs> Karen is no longer part of this family. Okay. Uh, you're calling the cops on Karen specifically.
Okay, does that work? Do you need more? Fit upgrade, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm not putting horniness. I'm doing this. Just this. Um, no, it's involving a... No, I'm not doing that. It's involving a baby. I don't want to get into weird spots here. Um... Fine. Oh, it, um, it actually, I'm carrying Johnson. That's rigged, but fair. Yeah. All right, this is fine, yeah? <clears throat> we are high and horny. That's fine. Okay. Oh, and, uh, and, and sorry, try and try to get a rest. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> I will say, if she's successfully arrested, that means that you and Bill Johnson saved the baby from her clutches and that would be the final point you said fit and a fit oh, oh i thought i put fit of rage um okay here we go here we go <laughs> i don't know how i did that again <clears throat> this could be this could be a win but also getting the cops to do anything has been very very hard i'm not exactly expecting this to work i'm gonna be honest with you <clears throat> <clears throat> Meanwhile, downstairs, a loud crash was heard as Karen Johnson crashed her red car through the wall of the kitchen. <sighs> as Karen stepped out of the car, it was revealed that there was a hidden basement beneath the house the whole time. And not only that, there are various kidnapped men and a baby trapped in the basement in a fit of rage and confusion. Twitch chat decided to call the cops on Karen Johnson and try to get her arrested for kidnapping babies once and for all. Does it work? Mr. Bill Johnson was sitting in his lawn. Mr. Bill Johnson was sitting in his lawn chair, sipping his iced tea, getting ready for the long awaited game of tennis that he and Twitch chat were about to play. He yelled, Karen! Where did the baby go? At Twitch chat in a frantic panic running all around the lawn, up and down, left and right, going absolutely nuts, getting more and more fearful and distraught with every second. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this, and then, and then Twitch chat, call, tried to call the cops. And then Twitch chat tried to call the cops on Karen Johnson to get her arrested and get back the basement, baby. Later, when the police arrived, they assumed Bill Johnson was the one calling and driving him nuts. And for a while, they gave him a stern talking to. During this talk, Bill Johnson also yelled at Twitch chat for trying to take his wife away. Uh, at this point, Twitch chat decided to finally break away from Bill Johnson and hang out in the basement. Hold on, there was a very creepy torture chamber set up in the basement where Karen had been kidnapping victims and forcing them to do crazy cardio exercises and go into a small sauna room. So it's like a gym? Currently in the basement were the five missing men, including the missing president of the United States and the teacher and a small captured baby who turned out to be Doug Gina, who's supposed to become Karen's own daughter and take over her evil ways. I will give you another turn. What do you want to do in this situation? <sighs> T 
Take the baby! Save the president! <laughs> so weak. <sighs> Flush the president! <laughs> okay. I think save the president is the most obvious. Sure, we found you in the basement. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. It's a two-year subscription. Ugh. That's cash. Cyril, thank trash. you so much, man. Appreciate it. Uh, can we yell "Get down, Mr. President"? I mean, I think you guys want to. You want to get him out of here. Wait, do you guys want to reveal that you were a secret agent <laughs> the whole time here to save the president? Or do you just want to be an innocent robber family member? Ugh. Both. Okay. <laughs> Why is the president of the United States in the basement? Ugh, okay. Uh, upon seeing Save <laughs> Joe He's sad <laughs> Hashtag Save Joe Okay What, what do you, uh, what do you say when somebody's activated as a sleeper agent? Like they're, <laughs> so good. like, how do I word this? Uh, what, what, like your sleeper agent protocol was revealed? What, like, are you, are you like activating or? They were, uh, Twitch chat, okay was awakened as a sleeper agent. Anything else you want? <laughs> Fine. Wawa Zan's sleeper agent. <laughs> also, Duck flushed a baby. That's going to confuse it. <clears throat> All right. Ugh. The president is a key resource. Let's see if you save him. Upon seeing the president of the United States, Twitch chat was awakened as a Wawazam sleeper agent, an elite government spy tasked with rescuing the president from Karen-related kidnappings. <laughs> Captain Rainer, thank you. It's okay, Mr. President, Twitch chat said. I'm here to save you. Now let's get you home to the White House. Also, Doug flushed a baby. And with that, Twitch chat left the basement with the prisoners who were really happy to finally be free. First, they saved the teacher. Right, of course, priorities. And then they came back for the president and the three other victims. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitch chat has officially robbed the Johnson family household of a baby and a bunch of kidnapped men. And, um... What's a good kidnapping picture? Full body kidnapped. <laughs> okay, this one has the background. I might get in some lists for that one.
What the hell? Oh. oh god. He's a bit big. Jesus, take the wheel. Ah! Rainer, thank you for 20 more gifted subs. <laughs> And with that, Twitch chat rescued. First, the teacher. I don't know where the teacher went. I assume this is the teacher right here. This guy. <laughs> rescued the teacher. The president. All the other kidnapped dudes. And the basement. And thus. Oh, the entire basement, I guess. Oops. <laughs> and thus. Twitch chat made out. With their sixth precious resource and successfully robbed the Johnson family household. Congratulations. Uh. <laughs> um, I don't know if I don't know if Bill wait, hold on, what happened to Bill what happened to Bill? Okay. I guess we need an epilogue. There's one left behind. Well, you only went... First they saved the teacher, then they came back for the president and three other victims. Congratulations with your baby, marijuana, fish, Wii Sports toilet, and basement with Joe Biden inside of it. You have successfully won the AI home invasion. <laughs> the first baby's dead, all right? He's not going to come back later. Let's do a quick epilogue. Now, that being said, you guys are a happy and functional member of the Johnson family. So let's see what you guys got up to once Joe Biden was was secured. And that's how Twitch chat <laughs> Duck watching us play weed. You guys don't get to smoke weed with Joe Biden and play tennis without me. I'm here in the house. I get to join. I want to hang out too. And that's how Twitch Chat successfully won the robbery. It's time for an epilogue to see what happened to all of these beloved characters. First off, Twitch Chat and Joe Biden. Met up at the house of Biden's mistress in order to see Jesus, what would happen the if they tried to have an affair and get Biden impeached. Captain Rainer, thank you for the night. Oh my god. Uh, and then they kick back and relax for a bit, and Twitch chat's mom showed up with some Doritos and Mountain Dew. Oh, cool. All right. Works out in the end. As for Bill Johnson. As for Bill and Karen Johnson. Those two were left to fester in their misery for the rest of their lives. And Bill especially cursed the name Twitch Chat as long as he lived. It turned out to be a mutual hatred as Twitch Chat hated Bill and Karen and thought they deserved punishment too. But did Twitch Chat... I mean, that's kind of sad to be honest. I guess your relationship fell apart. Well, let's find out. Did Twitch Chat and Bill Johnson ever hang out and play video games again? You guessed it, they never did. <laughs> and lastly, what happened to Doug Doug? Give me something good. Give me something good. <laughs> we are all out. Well, Doug Doug joined the secret anti-Twitch chat CIA organization where he was known as NFTP. There are some hints that perhaps 
the bathroom where he was originally locked away was not a normal bathroom at all. It had some deep, unsettling memories behind it. I knew it. <laughs> Hold on. That was not obvious. And I'm not admitting to it anyways. But okay, are you sure the Twitch chat and Bill Johnson never played Wii Sports again? Not even once? Did Twitch chat become the new son of the Johnsons? What even was Doug Doug's real name? Do I know my stuff or what? It doesn't like questions. How do I phrase this? This is your last shot. But here's the answer to the question that every- Wait, you're right, we were both secret agents? Robbing these random people's houses? But here's the answer to the question everyone wants to know. Did Twitch chat and Bill Johnson ever play Wii Sports together again? The answer is... Of course not. Twitch chat and President Joe Biden moved in together and <laughs> raised a litter of pandas. And did quite a lot of gardening. Okay. Well, uh, at least you and Joe have a happy ending. Oh. As for Doug Gina and all of her weed, Twitch chat smoked all the weed somewhere, but Doug Gina is retiring and is planning on playing a nice golf game at the best golf place in town tomorrow. Wait, what? Doug, Doug Doug and the Johnson family had a short reunion where Bill Johnson learned about the death of his dogs? His dogs died? And there was no need to worry about them dying again. After some awkward attempts to build back the lost relationship, Bill Johnson turned Doug Doug over to the authorities! What the fuck, Bill? <laughs> God damn it! and a series of events known to the public as the burglary of 2023. Doug was quickly extradited to China and spent the rest of his life harvesting beans with his friends. <laughs> the end. Thank you, Novel AI. Very cool. What about the dog? Is it 350? You're insane, Captain Rainer. Thank you, thank you, thank you very, very, very much. Get beamed, idiot. <laughs> That's not... I do want to see what happened to the baby. Meanwhile... The baby who was rescued from the basement turned out to be twins named John and Sam, and they started a weird survival horror video game called Condemned 3. And that's a story for another day. All right. You, apparently the baby was twins. <laughs> All right. And that'll do it for AI Invasion. Uh, congratulations, chat. Uh, you soundly defeated me. I really don't feel as though I... Correct me if I'm wrong. 
I don't feel like I objectively play these games worse in any way. And somehow I get massively beamed every time. I guess that's... I guess it goes to show, chat. Crime never pays. We're getting better. I haven't won a single one of these. Ever. No, I won the zoo one. <laughs> I've won one out of, like, nine. What if we take Doc and move him to China? Uh, okay. Um, I did win one. Well, this was uh, an incredibly insane oh, uh, yeah, invasion. This was fun. All right, so let me see if I can... Let me see if I can recap everything that happened today. Tell you, correct me if I'm wrong and missed anything. Uh, we both showed up in the living room. You guys called the cops on me. I got scared and ran into the bathroom. Uh, I saw a baby in the toilet, so I flushed it. You guys then came into the basement and flushed me down the toilet. Oh, I turned the baby into like a patchwork doll. You guys flushed me into the toilet. My golden crown fell out and fell on the floor. You took a shit on me. You then went into the daughter's room, asked to smoke weed. She gave you an ounce of pot, introduced you to her dad, Bill, who had you work at his weed store. Then I got out of the toilet. Uh, then I got out of the toilet. I went into the son's bedroom, who turned out was dead the whole time, which explains why he didn't resist when I took his goldfish. Ran down here... To the father's gaming... Oh, you, you had played Wii Sports with the dad, I think, at this point. Uh, ran out here into the dad's room. Oh, that's why I'm so small. I shrunk myself earlier. I went out here into the dad's room. Uh, he beat me up and knocked me into the office. Then you guys came in here, played video games with him, and then asked him to borrow the Wii Sports and the Goldfish. So you got both of those. And the ounce of pot. Then I stole the fax machine and fell out the window onto the ground. That's how I got my fax machine point. Um, then you guys, at some point you played tennis with the dad. I don't remember why. I don't, did anything else happen? I think I went upstairs. I went upstairs and I got my golden crown back. Oh, at some point you went back to the weed store and met up with Toilet Gang. Don't really know what that was about. Uh, then you asked Bill Johnson to be adopted into the family. He successfully adopted you. Um, and then you, and then you heard Karen Johnson downstairs crash her car into the kitchen that revealed a basement where there's a bunch of kidnapped guys and a baby. You called the cops on Karen Johnson and then went downstairs and realized the president of the United States was in here and then rescued the president of the United States, which was your last precious resource, thus winning the game. Uh, the shed had... Hopefully this doesn't dox Barry. This is Barry's actual shed. Not where he currently lives, but... Uh, here's what's in the shed. Very cool stuff. The only real, like, surprise was the... I did just leak, sorry. <laughs> um... That's not what the inside of his shed looks like, I assume. Uh, the only, uh, the only like, hidden thing was the basement. Uh, can we see how much we stole is worth? I don't... How do we... Yeah, I guess that's true. Well, also, one of them is a baby, which doesn't... I don't know how, we're, if, how we put a money value on that. Weed's going to depend a lot on where you sell it. I don't think the internet's going to give us a good answer for that. We know Wii Sports, the toilet, and also Joe Biden. I don't know how you're going to... Weed's like $100. Okay, let's make a rough estimate. Well, the problem is Joe Biden and the baby are both priceless. I guess it depends whether you would ransom Joe Biden, but presumably not because you're a government agent. What about the hostages? As for all the basement hostages, they eventually reached a point where they had the money to pay for their homes and they started businesses in town. One of them became the owner of a local coffee shop and the other became the owner of a local fast food restaurant. Well, that's anticlimactic. <laughs> Can 
Can we take the things we stole to an antique roadshow and get it appraised? The, the, the real problem you're going to run into is Joe Biden and all the kidnapped people. And the baby. I really don't know how you put a number on this. It costs on average $250,000 to raise a child to 18, so that's half of the value. I feel like you guys should be $250,000 in the red because you have a baby. We sell them for organs. <laughs> yeah, I forgot the Wawa Zanzalor. I apologize. It's not that critical to understanding everything else. Uh, how much can you sell the organs in a human body for? You can make as much as $650,000? Damn! Okay, so if you guys are really unethical here, there was five people trapped in the basement. So it's $650,000 per person. And there was five people trapped, plus the president, plus the baby. So let's say if you sold all of their organs, times seven. Uh, wow, well done everybody. You guys made four and a half million dollars in human organs. Oh, and then, hold on. Plus $50 for the toilet and $25 for the used copy of Wii Sports. So four million, four and a half million and $75. The president would be worth more. I, let's, I uh, look, not to get political here, but his organs are not worth much. <laughs> like, let's be real. Um, <clears throat> okay. And the fish. I, how much, is, I don't know how much a used goldfish goes for, dude. It's probably a dollar. Do you know how, do you know how cheap? Goldfish are? They're, they're, it's not a lot. Not if they're used. All right, all right. Um, that is it. That was very fun. Uh, that is one of my favorite AI invasions we've done. That was so fucking insane and funny. And the memes were great. I appreciate all your hilarious memes. Um, yeah, it's the goldfish is you. You didn't buy it fresh. Or, yeah, right? It's, I don't know. I don't know how long Johnny Johnson's had the fish. It's, it's not me. <laughs> Ask the AI about Toilet Gang. One last thing. You're probably wondering what happened to the Toilet Gang. Well, they went to the doctor to get healed from their injuries, but they found out they were completely immortal because they couldn't be killed by a single trip down the toilet. <laughs> Instead, they've got to be flushed down many, many times. Uh, all right. Yeah, if you guys split the profits equally amongst 10,000 people, it's, uh, you each make like 450 bucks, so nice job. All right. That is it for my stream. Thank you for watching. This was extremely fun. I had a very, very good time with this. Um, I should be back on Thursday. I am expecting to uh, get sick because I've been around lots of sick people. Uh, but if I don't, then, then I'll be streaming. And the idea I have, I don't know if I'll actually do it on Thursday, but the idea I have is that I, ha I wrote the code for it already. Um, <clears throat> you can only say word, you can only say word, Heinz Can Beans, thank you for the one year, I appreciate it. You can only say words in Twitch chat that I've said in the past 60 seconds. So it's like, I've done, I've already done the five minute coding adventure off stream. So it's like, the code works. It does work. I'll show you either Thursday if I do it or sometime next week. Um, but then I'll just play Elden Ring and then you... The only words that you're allowed to say in a message are any words I've said in the past 60 seconds. Otherwise, you're banned for an hour. <clears throat> I even learned how to properly do multi-threading in async IO in Python. I actually understand that a lot better now. Cool. Are you hyped for the Elden Ring DLC? Kind of. I'm hyped for it as a source for content. I'm not really excited to actually play it because I don't like it very much but it's great for content I don't know I the game just frustrates me I've mentioned this before you don't have to shock and be and be shocked I just liked Dark Souls 3 a lot more so I think I just compare it to that 
is the issue. All right, I'm going to call it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you Thursday, most likely. Uh, I hope you all enjoy uh, some Wii Sports until then. I am not going to do a raid because I'm worried people would spam Wawazans, which I don't want to inflict some poor innocent person on that. So instead, we will uh, raid Parcher. What happened to I won't play the DLC on stream? Uh, that's fair. I, I mean, I, th I have an idea for playing it, so... I probably will play that, even despite that breaking the rules. Great sandwich, they're talking to a volleyball. Well, it's already... Ra okay. <laughs> Oops. Here's it until I make fun. <laughs> That's a good stream. Okay, also, the raid's already gone, but also check out Sandwich. Her stream looks pretty funny. Um, Alright, goodbye. Farewell. Have a good one.